Discovery, go at throttle up. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're good here. Let me just uh, check. Um, one of you guys, can you ping out the uh, ping the YouTube chat just to be sure? We changed the. Uh, Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, where's where did my 
five chat. Reading you five by five about bloody time. Uh, it's just like British Rail, Tessa. You know, it's you know, it's just you're just a little late. Is the title the same though? I'm working on it. Oh my goodness, Brimo, YouTube, the YouTube is not. The yeah. The YouTube yeah, Brie, I'll I'll show it to you later. The the YouTube UI is not the YouTube dashboard is not uh not the uh not the greatest. But uh I think we're good. All right, double chat's up, ready to go. You can figure it out. No, I already figured it out. It's just really counterintuitive. Uh I got the titles changed. Title should be changed on both ends. Uh, all right, let's, let's go. All right. Should we fire up workers? Title is set. Thanks, Alex. Obrigado. Did you see Destin's newest video, Diving with Astronauts in the NBL? I haven't seen it. I know about it, though, Squishion. Uh... Switches over here. Like that. This is this camera is so much better. It's not bad, dude. It's definitely not not bad. All right, we got to get the tunage going. Title set okay over there. All right, guys. Well, let's let's see what happens. Let's get the mixer open. How you doing? Good, sir. It's an Elgato face cam, Hibbit. It's quite good. It was not cheap. I splurged on that in a shotgun mic. Um, so it'd be, so you wouldn't hear the, uh, you're not gonna hear the rain and like my keys jingling around and stuff. And then we're, we're simulcasting too. Like and subscribe and ring the ring the freaking cowbell. Oh, all right. This is weird, man. This is why this is why I'm, streamers are so hesitant to change anything because this feels all this doesn't feel normal. It feels weird. I'm gonna it's gonna take a second to get used to it. It is Ando. Yep, yep. All right. Oh, hold on. That's way too loud. All right. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, Apatox is something like that. Oh, okay, Gujar. <laughs> what is it? A new thing for me to try? It's called Smokehouse Beef Brisket Dip. EJ in 60 FPS at high definition does look good. Different? You didn't, uh, yeah, you didn't say good, you said different. You could see this the beautiful tan this the beautiful tan this is going on here all right let's pause where were we at what were we doing um oh i left the double distros here uh 
we were gonna build out two distribution centers. Uh, two more distros so we can get more crops. But I think it was very much needed. Still don't know if what you're saying is a good thing or not. Uh, at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Zaris, what's going on? All right, I gotta get, gotta get crackalack in here. So, were we cash flow positive? Forty-two six last month in October '71. We made forty-two. What's the debt payment? Forty-nine. We're actually getting close. We're pretty close. We've bought down the debt. It was up. It was three point two. Now it's two point nine. So, not bad. New cam, new mic. Anything else new? I got the mixer hooked back up, so eventually I, I can hook the amps back up and we can play the guitar. Some people probably don't want that. Some people might. I don't know. Yeah, Ando, that's the reason why we did it. That is the reason why. All right, so I guess the, la the message to me would work on distribution. So let's... All right, let's, let's roll. Let's get distro set up here. Needed an, I needed more distribution centers up here so we can get more trucks picking up, picking up stuff. You want guitar and bitumen, okay. I have no strong feelings of this one way or the other. Thank you. All right, flip the grid on. Okay. Let's get in here. rid of the two connections here but we can make that one long stretch of road and then I'm gonna go in here and we'll we'll tell them to work on that uh, on we'll tell the construction teams to work on that and then we'll pave the little segments of road that'll get it so they'll pave that all in one shot question with the new mic we could still can we still hear you jam on the guitar uh, I hired I could I should be able to pipe the um, yeah, yes, for the most part. Um, this is a shotgun mic, but I should be able to guitar pipe the guitar directly out of the amplifier into the mixer. Remember the Behringer mixer that I had, and I could play the guitar in the in the bass and the drums on stream. Yeah, I can. We can do that again. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, we took that all. I took that all out of the boxes. They were still packed up. Yeah, so the the microphone's going through a mixer again. Um, Actually, the microphone is going through the mixer for the first time. The mixer is just set up. I have a, um, I have an Audio Technica AT897 shotgun mic. I uh, splurged a little bit. It's not, it is not a cheap microphone. It's a shotgun mic. The reason why I went with the shotgun mic is because I don't want the microphone to be right here. I don't like that. I really don't, especially because I'm working with my hands and I'm. You know, I get like, yum food please. I get yum food please is an awesome starship model and I'm, I'm constantly showing people things and I have props on stream that I use to show how starship went through re-entry and it went through re-entry like this and re-entered and popped, right? Like, Discovery, I have no all that, so. I don't want a microphone boom right here. So I went with the shotgun mic and with the shotgun mic, it's directional. And it's pointed right at my head. Anyway, it's pointed right at my head, so I should sound a little bit better, and I, I can still move around, and the mic, the, the quality should be like way higher. Dendal, twenty-seven months. Thank you. All right. 
That spaceship looks old. Yeah, it's been seen some things. The shotgun mic might help with the ambient noise from the rain. I have that through a, a compressor in OBS Digital. It will absolutely do that. Yep, yep. Is that why we could only barely hear drummer? Yeah, yeah, Canuck, that's right. Because if I get out of the direction and line of sight of, of the mic, my voice goes... Yeah, see what I mean? I'm talking at the same volume here, talking at the same volume here, talking at the same volume, same volume, same volume, same volume, same volume. See what I'm talking about? I didn't hear farts. Probably not. <laughs> you never showed us the props with the rapid unplanned unscheduled disassembly. I don't want to I don't want to drop that. Then I won't have it anymore. We strongly approve of all these uh, these changes. Hando the AV guy. All right, cool. I have both streams up. There's essentially no delay between them. I can use the audio of one to watch the other without any noticeably visible desync. And you could fast forward and the the YouTube stream. Actually, that the YouTube stream. Somebody said it over there. Uh, you can rewind them, which is pretty cool. Oh, I've ripped on I've ripped it on stream many times, bitch, and you guys don't hear it, or you do, and no one says anything. It's probably that. Yeah, see all these crops that we're leaving on the table here. We gotta, we need more trucks. New microphone, new camera, new me. Not new me. Good. good. Yes, we've been wondering all this time. No one's ever said nothing. Yeah, that's why I was down for a long time yesterday, Simon. That's why we didn't didn't stream too much. We've been working on this. So Drummer is here, my lead mod. He's he's visiting from overseas, and then All Systems was here as well. So yeah, setup is pretty sweet, dude. Pretty cool, right? I think the prop, one of the big problems we were trying to solve here with la uh, with the industry here is labor. Drummer's here. Yeah, there he is. How is Drummer's English accent? Um, actually pretty mild, to be honest with you. Did you pick up an arc to aid with video compression too? An arc? Hey Alucard, what's going on? Yeah, Storm, I got two to keep up with. Into our GPU AV1 encoding. No. No, I'm not that cool. Not much, just the sound of the, the, the sound of freedom. All right. How are you, and how was Easter? My Easter was fine. Yeah, Primo and I actually drummer came to Easter with my family. That was funny. <laughs> I don't think he was ready for that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure he was ready for that. You're a tad too big compared to old. All right, what? You don't like seeing my face? How's that? How's that, huh? How's that? Feel right? This feels right. Yeah, it was pretty fun, Storm. It was pretty fun. I really like my family. They're cool. I'm smiling. No, it's just new. Well, now, now you said something. Now it's changed, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, the truck broke down. Not ideal. N V E N C or N Envec. Envenec is uh um 
broadcasting type is, I think. It's been a while. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a gosh dang hot do 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 dog. So I'm gonna build another one of these down here because look, we're leaving a lot of tonnage in these farms and double the amount of trucks to go and pick up these farms after every harvest should get me what I'm looking for. We need more crops so I can keep my alcohol factory churning out, churning out good top quality vodka. How do you get firecopter heli- how do you get fire helicopters? Take a helicopter pad, put it in range of the fire station so the fire station highlights when you go to place it, and then put a helicopter on it. That's it. Make sure you tell the- make sure you have a distro to the fire department so we can give the helicopter fuel. Hey, Doom. I think what we were basically getting ready to do is tool up to the food factory. Once we get food and alcohol up, that should be enough to break the debt spiral. Uh, for now, and, which is not bad. I got involved in a nasty debt spiral from that damn viral clip. Guys, that clip has, the, the clip of the double silos burning down has like 50,000 views. Which, I, I, I don't know, man. Should I? Is Drummer actually a drummer and when will you be starting the garage man? Yes and I don't know. Yeah. Link it up. How's the debt? Uh, uh. Well, I'd probably watch the clip 5,000 times if that helps. It's pretty damn funny, actually, to, to be quite honest. It's, it's pretty good, man. It makes me laugh. Please tell me you still have the frozen image of you and Brimo from last night. Oh, don't worry. Chat chat made sure we had that, God. <laughs> chat made sure we had that, dude. All right, work on that there. And we will assign some labor to that. There we go. 50,000 viewers used to live here. Now it's a guy's stand. Yes, he is. He's not that good. Damn, Tessa chose violence today. Holy crap. Is it you raging from a while ago? Yep. Really don't like making uh, headlines that way, but hey. Any press is good press, I, I guess. Hey, Pokemon, what's going on? How goes it? It, is, it goes good. Privet tovarish. Как дела? Here at glorious Chernobyl at Republic. We need the clip. Drummer, can you get can you get the clip, dude? Comrade, the People's Committee for Patriotic Movements wants to check our I don't want to watch it on stream. There's swearing, and swearing is inappropriate. It's inappropriate. <laughs> eh, Alex has it. Hey, where's your spanner? Oh, yeah. I guess I need. I guess I'll give you a moderator. Jeez. I guess. Oh, oh, that's that's good. Oh, uh, we're we're in light mode now, chat. We're in light mode. All right. I hate winter, even in this game. 
It sucks. It sucks so bad, dude. I freaking can't stand it myself. I'm right there with you. Hey, we're at plus 53, guys. Plus 53. That's plus four, man. Take 49 away from that. We're at we're we're in the positive. We're plus 53, 420. Oh, baby. Yeah, Pokemon, I got a little spicy there, dude. I got a little spicy. Oh, uh, your boy got it. Your boy got a little <laughs> boy got a little spicy there. It's like having jalapenos. Emphasis on farmer in melon farmer. The emphasis on farmer in melon farmer. I got scared. Oh god. ULA on X. The launch of United Launch Alliance Delta Four Heavy carrying L70 for the National Reconnaissance Office is now planned for Tuesday, April 9th at 1253, pending range approval. All right. I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs> right, right after the eclipse. What? Well, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. What did you call me? I just, I was saying bye. God. Yeah, it was gonna be during the eclipse. Exactly. Yeah, I think they probably did that on purpose. Probably did that on purpose. Yeah, floating it. Uh... That one, that one gained some traction, man. <laughs> gained some traction. <laughs> you going to Texas for the eclipse? No, we got, there's gonna be partial where I'm at, Pokemon. There's gonna be partial in the Northeast, I'm good. Uh, I get like 90% partial, so yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Look at that, November 1971. We turned a profit, baby. I'll link it forward in my games community so more people can see it. Uh, Chinque. You still have to watch it. Nope, nope, no, I'm good. Turn that profit into more profit with the food factory. Indeed. Just one more snowplow, please. We made a nice parking spot for the churches. I kept the churches. I ain't demolishing that. We're not doing that. Detective, no going in there. You, you tell me two things. Yeah, trucks are having some mechanical problems. Uh, but I did get the repair depot up with two vehicles to go and drive over and fix this stuff. So they will get fixed over time. Not worried about that. We got that distro there. That distro is moving alcohol. That's alcohol export. Alcohol and chemical export. Sweet. So when we produce too many chemi chemicals, we need to export. Good. You can go as far as you want. The game soft ends in 1991, Lucario. Yeah, there's a soft ending. What's going on here? Uh, thing broke.
55 G's. Nice. Yeah, I wish I didn't... I wish that I didn't book my return flight on the same day as the Eclipse. Ugh. You've seen people play in 2029. Cool. Have you ever made it to 91? Yeah, my second save made it to 91. I broke the debt spiral on my second save in 91 and then called it a day, Tycon. Uh, my third save made it to like the mid 70s before it, it had a catastrophic failure. Um, that was my fault. Uh, this one, I have the dead spiral broken in 1971. So that's good. Yeah, we're exporting chemicals, explosives, and vodka. We'll be working towards food exports here in a second. Um, in fact, how many idle vehicles do we no have? Throttle. Bio, 58 months. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and fellas, don't forget, I'm watching both chats on the simulcast. So we're watching both of them. It's 20 years earlier, no biggie. Yeah, simulcast. Mm -hmm. I'm watching two chats. Back and forth. I got. I'm actually pretty used to this already. Uh, it's just the YouTube. The YouTube chat is dead, dude. But that's okay. That would be an interesting game, taking your city and adjusting the economy from the collapse of the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on the tubes too. I'm going back and forth. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Pretty quiet on the Western Front. Yeah, quiet on the. Quiet on that YouTube Western Front. Ah. On the long the Western Front. I got the PMDG 737 mod for flight sim. Wow, is that plane good? Yeah, Blue. So, yeah. <laughs> the experts are gonna come in here. You know that. Uh, the 737 is one of the greatest planes ever made. I'm sorry, it's just facts. Even with the blemishes from whatever the heck is going on with the Max, which, yeah, no, that's not good, but 737s, older 737s are just a treat. So you can see this message. And this message, too. Yeah? I, you know, I'll say it. I'll say it, I won't say it again. It's not the most popular opinion around. 737 is one of the safest planes ever made, even with the fiasco of the Max. That's how good the older versions of that plane are. Ninja, <laughs> you're wrong. B-52 is the best. All hell debuff. Whatever. You're getting trained on the 737-200. It's a beast. It's great, great aircraft, dude. Yeah. Dude, 59 G's. We ended up uh, plus 10 G's. Nice. You grew up on Dash 400s. 400s is one of the greatest aircraft ever made. 747 Dash 400. Doesn't get better than that, dude. Did you see ULA and Tory tweets? What do you think it is? Uh, what do you mean? What is this? It's not heresy. I'm talking. Oh yeah, there's that picture of the Centaur three. One of the last Centaur threes to roll off the uh, off the production line. 
Your self-learning RNAV with the 737 is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. The game gets easier later on when there are more options to make money. Keep the stream open here to give a tiny boost to doing your part. Thanks, TV. Exactly, make it a secret, S. Almost done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I got a couple of a couple of trucks need maintenance. Are they still pulling crops right now? They're still going. Huh. All right. You're not safe behind your guides. I think we were talking about putting a refinery or something over here on Friday, if I'm remembering right. DJ, how old are you? Wondering. Uh, I'm 35 years old. Music? Poga, what do you mean? Music like as in what music is playing or music as in what uh, what music is playing or like can you hear it? This is SC2, dude. SC2 Terran. Terran soundtrack. It's good building music because StarCraft is a good building game. Battle Cruiser. Operation. Hailing frequencies open. Good day, Commander. Shields up, weapons online. That's right, Wolfie. to AK-47s for everyone! Who called in the tweet? <laughs> Random, would you, would you like my extra key lights? I'm not streaming anymore, so I have no need for them. They're desk clamp mounts to clamp straight on a desk. I have key lights, dude. Uh, and why aren't you streaming anymore? Did you give up? You give up? Life, etc. I called it pretty much. Then quit, you no word sack of crap. Get the frick off my obstacle obstacle course. Get the frick off my obstacle course. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I will motivate you, Grab Shark. <clears throat> anyway. Stop yelling. Stop telling me stop yelling. I can always turn down the mixer as well. Well, that sucks, Grav, but yeah, no, I mean, if you want to send them to the PO box, I'm not going to say no, but I don't really need them. Thank you for offering. I am sure I could find use for them. I am sure. to get up in there. 
He lights may help the green screen. Well, they're, if they're desk clamp mounts, drummer, that might be exactly what we're looking for. We could, we just won't mount them to a desk. <laughs> we won't mount them to a desk, that's all. <laughs> we'll just mount them somewhere else. Maybe like the ceiling or something. Shields up, weapons online. The mic sounds very normal. I couldn't tell you changed anything. Maybe when it doesn't, maybe when it doesn't override when you get loud. We'll mount him to the truck, maybe. Exactly, dot to the ceiling. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're still pulling these crops. Alright, that's good, man. That's very good. Yeah, these maintenance trucks need to pop in here. They need to fix this stuff. There goes the paver. Perfect. I mean, a light bar bio, I'm not gonna lie to you, a light bar from a truck might, it might solve all the green screen problems. It might solve all those green screen problems, you know what I mean? Truck looks very unhealthy. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, put get some yeah, get some daylighters. <laughs> yeah, put some KC daylighters up there. Jonathan, thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. I'm trying to buy a car, but inflation has made my budget not feasible. Bio, the game doesn't get easier, no matter what you're doing. If it's not inflation, it'd be something else. I've always been a big proponent of embracing the suck. Embrace the suck, comrade. You know, it's the way it do be. By the way, they got rid of they got rid of the Space Bucky's jacket in Daytona. Oh. Embracing the suck is how this game's supposed to work. Which means I gotta save more on the bright side. Close to my budget options. Bird. 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 Yep, yep. What's that phrase you use? Normalization of deviance. Yeah? What about it, Flacken? Are you going to watch the eclipse? I'm driving west to Rochester, New York, when your time comes. I'll probably watch partial, a partial eclipse data from just from home. I'm busy those couple of days, dude. Can't be that far away from the computer door. Up. David, how you doing? Normalization of deviance, like in his uh, engineering ethics term, it comes from like, well, if you're overseeing something, like say you have a car, all right? And you're driving your car around and the wheel falls off, speaking from experience here. Um, that's not, that's not supposed to happen. And if you just accept the fact that the wheel may or may not come off, well, that's pretty stupid. If it was engineered to not come off and the wheel still comes off, well, you're probably doing something wrong. Yeah, the, that phrase was popularized uh, in January of late January 1986 for um, reasons. Yeah, we'll just say for reasons and we'll leave it at that. 
I towed it, yeah, I towed the truck out of the environment for what it's worth. Yeah, that's a good call. We did. Let's check on our prices here. Alcohol is still good, man. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I towed it out of the environment. Don't worry. It's fine. Looks like City's got a patch. Yeah, it did, Blue. We'll uh, we'll jump back in sometime. What can be more important than going to see a solar eclipse? Um, making sure Drummer gets to his plane on time probably is a higher priority for me, Jim. Um, yeah. Hey, I didn't make his schedule. He did. Something I learned about the game this weekend. When you put in a police station, only give it half the police cars that it can have. Any particular reason, playing man? What's the theory behind that? He's here for the week, like, yeah. Yeah, Sneaky, it's gonna take some time, right? With more cars come more cases and a lower solve rate. Uh, that... Isn't this the plot of Hot Fuzz? No, don't worry, Sneaky. Drummer had a gigantic bacon cheeseburger with onion rings on it yesterday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! You can't mess up the cases you aren't aware of. The truth is, you've been making us all look bad. If you continue to patrol around the streets, you'll continue to be exceptional, and we can't have that. It was awesome. The whole thing, you had room for more. Yeah. Hey. You gotta, dude, you gotta, you gotta eat. You guys gotta eat. Just saying. All right, this road is finished. Let's put in a road here. Put in a road there. Tell them to start moving the materials to it. Thing. That part makes sense. Yep, yep. Open, you can open carry in this state, drummer. I told you, you're not going to see it here. Massachusetts is not an open carry state. You're not going to see that. Nah, Pigeon, it's... We're losing dollars because we're, it's, it's the local fluctuation of them toward an export. The only thing that matters is that green number up there. That green number 
See the see the green number twenty two thousand four hundred and in climbing here. I'll I'll show you in this menu, just so it's easier for people to see. Um, export. See what I'm talking about? That number right there. All told, where's that? What would that number be? Twenty two. That number it needs to be above 50. The reason why it needs to be above 50 is because of that, because of my loan payments. As long as that green number goes above 50 every month, we're fine. What's going on? How's that arbitrage stuff going? Arbitrage. Uh, it's going all right. Um, we haven't done anything with it lately. Sorry, I missed the start of the stream. What's the focus right now? Uh, the focus right now is getting more distro set up for the farms because we left a lot of crops out on the table. Um, also, I'm getting the trucks that I was that I was that we're already using. I'm getting those figured out. Uh, and we actually claim we uh, we actually made money, dude. Fifty nine oh four two in November of seventy one. We actually made cash. That's cash flow positive, dude. I was wondering about that. Yeah, we're, yeah, we did it. Um, between the chemical, explosives, and alcohols, we're actually pretty good. What I want to do is build out for the food factory. The food factory, food doesn't go for that much of a higher price here, right? Like, food is two fourteen a pop. Like, that's nothing compared, that's half of, like, what alcohol is selling for. But the thing is, I can produce 20 tons of food a day with that food factory going in overdrive. So, that's why I ended up getting more trucks. We have 29 fields right now. 29 fields is not enough to keep the food factory going 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But that should be good enough to get us a good amount of cash. I also, well Pigeon, I also have us teched for clothes. The problem now is like we could build these buildings, sure, no problem. It wouldn't be doing anything. And I have to be very careful, I have to be careful right now about spending the money that we have. We gotta be careful. That's all. Because if we overspend and we don't hit our 50K a month, we don't get above 50K a month profit, then we're gonna have we're gonna have some issues. We have to make sure we pay this off. We gotta buy this down. And we are buying it down right now, which is great. You're going for a steel mill on that hi nearby hill, but dang, that's a pricey investment. Steel mills are expensive. research is finished out of the tech facility. New geo mapping. 
Duncan is overrated. Why are you booing me? I'm right. No, you're not. Deal with it. No, no, you are not. What's Dunkin'? Dunkin' Donuts. It's the donut shop. The donut shop chain that started in Boston. Hey, Rivian. Yeah, I saw that link, dude. I haven't watched it yet, dude. But yeah, good stuff. I will give Duncan its breath a shot. Well, I can see where, you, where you're going wrong here is that this is my stream, all right? So, you know, you can think you're right about something, but it's my stream. You're not. So keep, keep, keep being wrong. It's fine by all means. And I will keep telling you that you are incorrect. It's not, I mean, it's nothing I can do about it, man. I missed the last Starship launch by 30 minutes. Do you know when the fourth launch is? Vivian, I'm gonna guess May. answer that ad sorry about that uh may may most likely set new constraints on plow limits so we can work on the construction here in the winter. Yeah, I love this music. This music is great. It's, it's good background music. It doesn't get better than that. for overtime on Monday. Management is anticipating serious traffic congestion with the eclipse. That and the snowstorm coming through on Thursday, man. Like, yeah, everything's gonna have to be cleaned up. I'm gonna have to run into a scenario like here. Thursday, sneaky. For us, I don't know about you. We'll put the plows back on today, guy. Yeah, there's a big one. I don't know if it's that. Uh, it's it might have gone around you, dude. Either that sneaker is it's coming to you like now. <laughs> That's probably what I used as a source. Source. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. You just got a lot of rain at the moment. Well, you're lucky. That's what's gonna get. That's what's gonna get me. Uh, just rain. Yep, Simon. Yeah, that's how it be. I was talking to all systems. He was Discovery, not too happy no about that. Haynes, thanks for the 11-month resub. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Ah, 
<laughs> oh. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, it's getting a little cold, Drummer. Bling bang, I'd sub in a hot minute if I could. Cash is very tight. Oh, it's all the ad for adverts I need just to support. Well, Bling, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, all good, man. I, I get it. I'm the, I'm, dude, I'm the entertainment. When cash is tight, I should be the first thing that's going, man. Like, I, I, I hear you. You don't, yeah, you don't need to tell me, man. I understand. Discovery, go at throttle up. Something to think about. What is this? Oh, somebody gifted you a sub. There you go. Really interesting to think about. I, yeah. Bill wanted to ramp up partially reusable launch vehicles flight rate, but he couldn't do it at NASA with the shuttle. So he went to work for the people that would let him crank the cadence up. Yep. Yep, that, yeah. Bill Gerson Meyer made vice president of build and flight reliability. But... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is what they wanted to do with the shuttle, but they didn't let them. They didn't let them. They didn't let them do it. That's what they wanted to do. Falcon 9 is doing what the shuttle was supposed to do. I've said this many times. People actually don't know who Bill Gerstenmeyer is. I've said that. Gerstenmeyer was basically the, one of the guys that ran the shuttle program in the, in, in the 90s and into the 2000s. And into the teens, after, well, even after the shuttle program. Uh, yeah, he was one of the guys that was trying to do that. Um, he's been he's been in and around the shuttle program since the 70s. Uh, and he left NASA. Actually, he got canned. Jim Bridenstine got rid of him, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, and then he joined SpaceX. You see this SSTO company. Nauka's in the wrong spot in this model. Um, that's not where that module is. That's where Rasvet is. Uh, yep, that's...
Um, guys, that's Nauka's not in the that that what is what is that? I don't know what that is. That's that's not a, that's not a thing that exists. This this who modeled this? It's a cool idea putting one stage on the ground. Why don't Dave? Yeah, I get it. Why don't you just launch vertically? The, what what is what spacecraft is that? I don't They got the Fedrazia. They got the Russian Federal capsule is there. Okay. okay. I uh I saw what I needed to see there. Uh, yeah, give me one second. Guys, uh, give me one moment. I'm still here. Okay. Um, might have to stop and get some food here in a second. We're still on hot mic. I usually do that before the stream if you need to, just for future reference. But we were busy. We were busy doing things. We were making moves. We were writing checks and snapping necks. Okay. All right. Does vertical launch need more fuel? Well, yeah, of course it does. Of course it needs more fuel, but it's way simpler. You pay for more fuel. But that, look, man, making something like that is really, really difficult. An SSDO like that, that's tough. Hold on one second. Okay, there's, a little, there's a little something something over there. I gotta, I gotta get rid of it. All right. Is this thing fixing those trucks? Yes, it is. Okay. Hey, Xanax, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see you again, buddy. How was your weekend? Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, December 71, 59 G's. We're cash flow positive, dudes. Oh my goodness. We're buying that debt right the heck down. All right. Nice. That's pretty, that's pretty good, man. Starcraft's amazing. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Dude, we are profitable. That's, that's pretty good, dude. Let's, uh, we'll wait a couple more months and then we'll pull the trigger on the, uh, on that food factory. We also, Prime's starting to be a big deal. Uh, it, it, people, most people say wait until 5,000. Uh, we could, we have active, active workers are 1,900. So we're going to need to, that's something to think about soon, sooner rather than later. But also I'm pretty sure we could build another flat and get ready to go. Here's the thing. We're barely filling up these three right now. I mean, they're definitely producing. That's for sure. Uh, we are making making some good good change off of this. Uh, are we good on income? I've been cash flow positive Xanax, including the debt for uh, two months in a row, which is pretty good for us. We might have to export food via train since it's mass export. That is something to think about for sure. Uh, right now, I'll have the food being dumped into this factory. We could build a spur off of the railroad or a siding and export out that way. Um, yeah, 
I'm not 100% on where we decided that would end up. So if all you had to worry about is gravity, could you orbit the Earth only like a mile or two above the ground? Yes. There are perturbations, Flykin, but yeah. Yeah. You could do something like that on the moon, but the problem is you might slam into a mountain going like Mach 20 or something. Food and alcohol connected to a train warehouse. I don't... Well... It's a compromise now, because what about the clothing factory? What are we going to do with that? I could flatten over here and put move the clothing production line over to this factory, and we could put clothing over here, and then we can make another siding. I can make this track go straight, and we could put another siding in here for the warehouse if we wanted to do that. I don't think that's a good idea, because then we would have to put another grain silo in to get to get the clothing going. Um, it would be better to move this from this local warehouse to a regional distribution warehouse, uh, but I just don't know where we're going to put that. What even is Mach 20 when there's no atmosphere? There, <laughs> there isn't. Uh, but yeah, figure of speech. We put another train track next to it, so yeah, that 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 grain silo is really only for straight export, which is okay. Um, I mean, I'll leave that there. Uh, we would need another spot for a warehouse for a train warehouse. Nice city, thank you, pigeon. But I mean. We'll initially go via truck. I don't have a problem with that. Um, we'll set up another grain cell as another nexus for industry. Uh, yeah. So part of the other thing is, I will, like, the, the, my original idea was just to sell crops, right? But then this thing can work as a regional grain distribution. That works as regional grain distribution and it doesn't get clogged up with this one. This one would go to all the industry and this one could potentially go to other places where we have industry as well. So this, this isn't that Nexus idea, but this lead, that one is set up to lead to that Nexus idea. Does that make sense? Okay, Ollie, we're cash flow positive, buddy. Look, we started the day with 180 Gs. Now we have 216. Are you gonna even export crops now? Simon, not export crops to the border, but we're gonna, we could move crops to another place that needs them. So like we could have a clothing, like we could make clothing over here in this city if we really wanted to. And that would, if we do that, and we plan all that out, we don't need clothing right here. We could build another city for it. Divvy up the labor. You have everything you need to make fabric right now. Oh, I know. I know. Ollie, can you do me a favor and ping that chat over there? I'm watching both chats for what it's worth, dude. Uh, no one said anything in YouTube chat for a half hour. Yeah, we can, we have crops and chemicals. Hey, Tessa, there you go. Ping, ping, test, thank you. I actually don't mind the double chats on either side of the monitor because they're in my peripheral. I can see both of them. I'm here so I don't get fired. We out here. Anything. Thank you. Meow. All right. No, Alia, they, they already did it. How much left on the debt? We're down to 2.8. We started the day at 
2.9, I think. We're buying it down, dude. It's going down. Our payments are slightly going up with inflation, but yeah, there you go. Because even if we do build out the clothing factory here, that's gonna mean that like between the food factory, the explosives factory, the chemical factory, the distillery, uh, I already said the food factory, fabric factory and double clothing factories, this city's gonna have to be gigantic. Like, we're gonna have to be building flats like up into the hills, guys. Like, city's gonna be huge. You just can't get build happy. Well, yeah, you gotta kinda take it slow. Take it slow. Good day, Commando. Tessa retrieved ad time. You rolled a three. <laughs> oh, you're freaking ad. I was actually just hoping to lose, just burning points, I'm sorry. Well, the road to hell is paved in good intentions, you dick. Hey, Wes, what's going on over in the YouTube chat? How you doing? Does YouTube get ads too? I, uh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Big new I don't know. I don't know. Yes, but it's automatic. Oh boy. No, it was. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Can't win. I can't win, dang it! All right, so here's the thing. I mean, we could go with that whole design. We could go with the clothing and the fabric factors. I don't have a problem. We're set up to do it. But I was set up to do all this without doing this. You're back, drummer? Okay. You can once you get monetization. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I definitely didn't watch YouTube while the ads are playing. Oh, no. no, never do that. Let's go with the grand, ah. Uh. Moving clothing would be a wise thing to do. Then you get that space for export staging. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Barrago, what we could do is demo that factory. We could dem, or not demo the factory. We could temporarily demolish that right and we could they could pull alcohols right out of the grain right out of the uh grain alcohol right, right out of the distillery and then we, we could replace it with a, with a factory like that and then just do another siding to said factory actually we could replace it with two factor with two of these two of those types of warehouses with the train tracks um actually i'm not 100 percent sure if there is another one of those but yeah The color of that hat looks so unnatural. That, yeah, well, that's the color it actually is, but it never showed up on the damn camera. Yeah, Flash, I know what you mean. I, it's on my priorities of things to do.
Fire seems fire station seems a bit unreliable. Uh, what gave you that idea? Let's see, are we positive yet, dude? It's the 17th of January, and we're already playing with house money. Holy crap, dude! For freaking real, unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna, guys, we're gonna spend a little bit here. Uh, we're already cash flow positive for the month, so I'm going to say build those. Please. Send one set of buses for one. Send one set of buses for another. It only stays that way if you stay financially responsible. I'm, I'm gonna, Hellfish, I think the rule of thumb here is that if we're maxing, it, it, it's going to take two weeks to get to buy off the debt every month. Whatever left over, 4200 bucks, that's what we'll use for building. We'll slate that for building, and then that's it. That's actually freaking sweet, dude. We should be down below 2.8 now. Almost. Wow. All right, man. That's cool. We're buying it down and it's only gonna go up. It's only gonna get crazier from here. That's really, really cool, man. What do you consider the biggest contributor to this change in money? People working? Getting the right amount of labor? Playing bang? Getting the right amount of labor for the buildings? Getting the infrastructure? to get people to those buildings quick, the highway, and getting the alcohol factory set up. Alcohol trades at like eight times what crops do. So it's between getting the right, getting the right amount of labor for the, for the right task, right? Uh, and expanding the city out and yeah, building the distillery, yeah. And once we get the food up and running, like I said, here, check this out. This is production and numbers, dude. We're starting to, we're starting to, this is how I know I'm moving into the min, mid game because I'm starting to min max things, okay? So check this out. Let's look at the distillery. The distillery makes 5.2 tons of alcohol per day. See it up there? 5.2. That takes 29 tons of crops, 3,500 gallons of water, 10 megawatt hours of, po uh, of power, right? Straightforward stuff, that's pretty good. What's alcohol trade at? Alcohol is trading at 462 a pop. It's way higher than NATO. They don't want vodka right now. No Stolichnaya for them. All right. Other Warsaw Pact countries see it trading at 462. So I'm exporting to Warsaw Pact. 462, right? Times 5.8. 462.47. Okay. Times 5.8. That's 2,600 bucks. 2,600 bucks a day pretty good now we're not exactly operating at maximum capacity one is because of worker happiness uh, even when we have a hundred workers working in there it's not gonna get to your maximum theoretical the workers have to you know you have to keep them happy they'll if you if that percentage number goes up more they'll be more productive and if you get rid of that stuff get rid of that stuff they'll, they'll be more productive that way as well so How many tons of crops? 29. 29 tons of crops. I mean, the production numbers are right there. So, all right. So let's just say we're making about two Gs, maybe 1,500, 1,500 to two Gs a day. Let's say 1,750 a day, all right? Check this out. The food factory. Look, food factory takes 41 tons of crops. So that's 12 more, 12 more than 29. 29 tons from the other place, right? It uses 2,200 gallons of water, and that makes 19 tons of food a day. 19 tons. Okay. Is food trading at what alcohol is trading at? Food is trading at 216 a pop. But even if we produce 10 tons of fuel, uh, of food a day, so 216, so say we're at 50% capacity. That's 216.17 times 10 tons a day, right? We're basically equal to the alcohol factory. If the food factory is working overtime, 
if it's wor not working overtime, if it's working uh, anywhere above 50% capacity, I can't type, 216.17 times, oops, times itself, I fat fingered the keyboard, 216.17 times say we're producing its theoretical maximum, which is 19, right? Check that out. 4,100 a day, a day. Now, check this out. You, you're, if you look at the labor cost, that takes 100 workers. The food factory takes 170 workers. So if you times this by three, right? Times it by three. So that's three eight hour shifts a day. You need 300 workers to get that 2,000 or 2,600 bucks from the alcohol distillery a day, okay? With the food factory, right, you could double it for 510 workers. So for almost a, about a third more workers working in the food factory, provided you can keep the crops right, you can make way more money off of the food factory despite what it, despite what it produces, uh, having a lower unit price. Does that make sense? Not to derail the stream, but could you check your DMs? I think there's something wrong with your exhaust. drive this thing out on the beach and then not hose it off I'm noticing there's a great deal of sand on all this did you got you got you got to wash this off no wonder your rockers are are toast is that snow sand sand from salt water. It's sand from the beach, which means it's caking, which means you're literally dousing it in salt and then keeping the salt water there. Yeah, you go out on the beach all the time. Every time you get back to the NSF house, you've got to wash the bottom of the truck off or else that happens. That's might in fact be the reason why your u-joint kicked the bucket uh more more or less just because it was old than anything why is your alcohol factory empty uh, empty of crops it's pulling from the silo yeah it's a little bit a little bit misleading it's pulling from the silo but yeah that's what's going on Yeah, right, Jin. Yeah, yeah. You gotta wash that thing off, dude. You gotta get the sand off of it. So what should I do about it? it? Seems to be making quite the racket. Cut it off. Truck's old. It's emissions exempt. People in Texas don't care. It's just gonna be a little bit louder. Or you could get a new exhaust and just attach that. Straight pipe it. It's your truck, dude. Your truck, buddy. It's just gonna be a bit more noisy, no big deal. As long as the O2 sensors aren't the part on the rotted out part, and that's definitely past the O2 sensors, you're fine. Screwing with the O2 sensors is going to screw with the tune. You already know that. I mean, it'll sound cool, but also, yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll make it cool. Clayton, you're waiting here back from your mechanic uh, about the car they saw. About my car. They saw something they didn't like on it, so they're going to do a compression test and going to look at the fuel injectors and said cylinder 3 was showing up as a problem.
Trying to understand truck maintenance. I was hoping the trucks would go to maintenance by themselves. No, it's not micromanagement. Give them, give them, uh, give them trucks. Give them these vehicles. They'll drive to, they'll drive to them. But there is an AOE for this as well. Upon closer inspection, the whole exhaust is just sitting on the transmission mount. Can't leave it like that, it'll it'll break something else on the exhaust. You need to sleeve it. Because you need to sleeve it for structural for structural reasons. You can go to an auto parts store and you get something like this. Uh, these are exhaust sleeves. Use that to bridge the gap. All you gotta do is undo this. Put it on the pipe, connect the two pipes together, tighten that down, clamp them back together. That's the quick fix. Do that because now your your cat and your muffler are hanging. They don't, if you're hanging, if they're hanging around on the transmission cross member and you're driving down the road, you hit a bump. Every time it does this, it's going to bend the pipes a little bit and you'll fatigue it and it'll eventually snap off. Speaking from experience with the uh, 97, the exhaust fell off when I was in Missouri. This was after the wheel fell off, dudes. Um, yeah, you could use that. You, I mean, if you want to zip tie it, it's an exhaust. It's going to get hot, so I wouldn't do that. Now that I have my coffee, I'm ready to watch both EJs. You watch The Godfather free with ads now. Wait, what? Yeah, drummer. Yeah, that's how I know. <laughs> We're at 60 on the month. Heck yeah, man. And that's with 32 Gs of expenses. Not bad. So is it better to cut the muffler off or use that thing to brace it with the back section? Brace it with the back section, S. Just brace it. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta bridge that gap. For, if, if anything, for structural purposes, dude. Because once again, it'll fatigue the metal and you don't want the exhaust quite literally hanging from the exhaust manifold on the truck. You, you know that part that's up at the front that we took off with the two bolts? You took the two bolts out and we got the exhaust off when we were lowering the transmission? If you don't, if that thing's just hanging, it's sitting on your transmission cross member, every time you go over a bump, it's going to bounce it up and down. And if it bounces it up and down, those two bolts are the ones that are getting fatigued and it'll eventually snap and the exhaust will just fall off. And if you lose your O2 sensors, your fuel economy is going to um, drop, drop like what it was before, before we did the flex plate. How much would it be to build a new exhaust? Uh, what? So first of all, don't do that. Um, so first of all, don't do that. Second of all, do this. Summit Catback Exhaust Systems, SUM640007, it's 220 bucks. Buy that. That is an exact replacement for the part that's broken. If I'm looking at it right, yours is broken right here. Just, just, just get that. Trust me, easier. You can make your own if you want, but I wouldn't. I only, I'm only making the 97 because I have to. Wait. Ambulance not arrived. That ain't my freaking problem. I, uh, this city is not activated. Zastadiach is not activated. 
missing cat. Wait. That only has one side. You only have one exhaust, dude. Oh, nice, Bandit. That's cool. Now with 100% more EJ. That's right, Entropy. Yep. Back over in the YouTubes. That that's that's a cat back. Yes, you need a cat back exhaust because your catalytic converter is fine, and that's where your O2 sensors are. Don't want to screw with that. Now, what's behind the catalytic converter? Cat back exhaust. They make plenty of cat back exhaust systems for Jeeps. Just type 1997 Jeep Cherokee cat back exhaust, and you'll have a glorious selection of parts. You need a cat back. That's that's what you need. If you if you want to replace it, the cheap the cheap and easy fix is to just leave that exhaust and call it a day. But you don't want this to happen again. You gotta wash the truck. Get a hose. Spray underneath the damn thing. Be careful of the wires, obviously, but spray underneath it with a hose and wash all the filth off of that thing. That is the best solution to protect everything under there. You're driving it on the beach, you're kicking up that wet sand, and that wet sand is caking on the chassis, and it'll get stuck there. And if it gets stuck there, it traps moisture up against things. This is why your rocker panels just obliterated themselves. Yeah, go to the coin up. Point up car wash, DIY car wash. Just get under there with the pressure washer and just get all the crap out from the, off of that thing. That's the easy way to do it. Yeah, I'd say with how often you're going to the beach, just make it a thing on Saturdays. Make it a thing to do it on Saturdays because yeah, you yeah, just do that. Yeah, or else there's gonna be no Jeep left. In another year, there will be no Jeep. It'll be a Jeep Int. Wow, we hit 58 again, 101,000 export. That's right, Aquamax, yeah, you ain't kidding, but... Actually, two EJs would be 200% more EJs. Well, it's 100% compounded, duh. For the background, try replacing the Starship gift with this. You might get the polka dots. Yeah, that'll polka dot, dude, for sure. Did I hear you say your cash flow positive? Yep. December, January, and February, uh, we've been pos cash flow positive. Time for new flats? Um, yeah, I think we could. The audio is so much better. I heard your keys jingle just then. Didn't hear it through the stream. It's the compressor, drummer. The compressor that I put through it on OBS. Yeah, you won't hear it. Is the infrastructure for new flats built? Yeah, absolutely. We could tee that one up basically right now. Yeah, tee it up right now. Um, let me just make sure they're in walking range. They are in walking range of so, school, school, sports, culture, and food. Yep. What I have them, what I have my construction teams doing is building over here. They're building out two, two more uh, distribution offices for, and then we'll, we'll fill them up with trucks uh, for crop export. It seems it's still partly connected. It's just a big hole. Sleeve it. As you can open the sleeve and do this, clamp it around the exhaust and then retighten it. That whole thing can come apart. You stretch it over and then you bolt it back together. I'm telling you, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's still going to leak. You'd have to like seal it up with like JB weld or something. Uh, but don't worry about that. Do it just to hold the exhaust up. It doesn't matter if you have an exhaust leak back there. It's not a big deal. 
As long as it's not a leak before the cat, you're fine. Any, I mean, honestly, even if it was. From an emission standpoint, you're fine. That's just going to screw up your engine, too. Remember, the, the O2 sensors, the, you have two of them. The, the O2 sensors are what's telling the computer what the content of the exhaust is. Uh, like, the, the, the O2 content in the exhaust, and you're, the, the, the computer on the car is tuning your fuel delivery systems based off of that. Based off of that and the airflow inlet. Yeah, you could metal tape it and then sleeve it, sure. I'm gonna tell him to build out the food factory. Let's do it. Have you seen Destin's new video? I know about it, Lunprod. I haven't had a chance to see it. Uh, Drummer and I have been quite busy. Me, Drummer, and all systems. We were quite busy updating this setup over the weekend. We'll uh, probably make it a thing to watch that tonight. Drummer and I have been watching Diesel Creek, watching a lot of heavy equipment videos, watching trucks. Do you have YouTube memberships enabled or is it is YouTube still too small? We're not monetized. Muffler Cement works too, James? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Muffler Cement or JB Weld will do it. Yep, yep. Yeah, Imperator, right? <laughs> Brings back some good memories. Thanks, Havix. Yeah, YouTube is not monetized yet, guys. So, yeah, no memberships or anything over there. Um, now is the part where I say we could fix that if you like and subscribe, but I'm not doing that. I will ring the bell, though. How does that sound? If you don't like bells, well, here, here's this. This is nice. You can have that. Is that a canard? Nope. Nope, just a wing. Well, fin. If we're gonna be technical. Yeah, we don't do canards here. <laughs> Got a fever. The only prescription is more cowbell. Gotta have more cowbell, baby. But yeah, January 58417, once again, as long as we stay above those mortgage payments, they need 50 G's, 50 G's every 30 days. As long as our export is above 50 G's, we make money. That's why I gotta be careful about spending. Is that an aerodynamic lifting and control surface? It's not a control surface, Aramil. It's a fin, passive. If you pay off your mortgage, you'll be a free man, a mortgage freeman.
Okay. Can we ban Tessa? Wait, what's Tessa doing? That was J-Speed. Please ban that guy. He's one of my mods, Simon. I can't do it. No puedo. No, no, no. He said Tessa. I mean, we can, but I don't know why we want to. Since when are you live on YouTube? Uh, since today, actually, Dieter. This is the first one you caught. Hi. Hello. The Gates. Dieter Schuffs. Yeah, I'm here. Just, I don't know. Feels a little weird, but yeah. We're simulcasting. Roll for ban. <laughs> You speak Dutch, actually. Oh, oh. Um, okay, so, Dieter, this is the part where I try to say Godewand and completely butcher it. Go, 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 de I can't do it, man. I'm sorry. Hello, windmills. <laughs> windmills. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I apologize, dude. That's my fault. I should the shoof should have thrown me for yeah. I should have should have recognized that. Good, good, good avond, good avond. Damn it! <laughs> Can't say that right at all. Animal, it doesn't matter. Your language is made up anyway. Go, go to dog. What? And no windmills, Belgian waffles. Oh my guy, even better. Spa Frankelchamp. Yeah? Yeah? All right, man. All right. What are you trying to say? Hi? Windmills, Max for stopping. Oh, well, windmills would be the Netherlands, not Belgium, though. Yeah, and Zolder. Zolder's a good track. Good track, dude. Good track. Tough. Tough track. Deceptively difficult. Especially in the third sector. It's a tough track to do. Hello in Dutch, you mean? No, I'm saying hello in Spanish, Violet. Yes. Good. Danavond is good evening. Well, is it not evening over there? Hola, amigo. Mucho queso. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on a minute, chief. Twenty one thirty eight. Yep. Yeah, it's late over there, dudes. Trucks are getting repaired. They... 2238, Mihai? Yeah, it's getting there. I always paint my farm trucks red. Uh, the reason why the other ones aren't painted that color is because you can't paint those ones. The Mack trucks you can paint, though. How are these distros? Oh, they need a lot of bricks, man. Why don't you try Google Translate? Uh, because it's more fun to talk with you guys. Anyway, Dieter, how you doing, buddy? Over on the YouTube side of things, good? I'm gonna wait until the border traffic calms down a little bit, dudes, and then we'll go. What's your latest venture in that right now in this game? Um, I'm gonna start, we're gonna start Food Factory production, J-Speed. Yeah, I don't, once Food Factory production is up, then we'll expand for it, but we need 500 for the Food Factory. So, uh, I'm gonna need one, two, and three ready to go. But, here's the issue. Some of these dorms, or some of the flats are out of range. 
they're out of range of some critical services. So we're gonna need to build another bodega over here or make a bus stop. Put a bus stop over here that goes to the grocery store and back. If I'm understanding how this works correctly. Or the other solution is just to put a small store over here. That's it. You could put a small one. No cars. Not yet, man. But, Kathy, we're making money. We're making money. January, we were above. We were above water. Profitable, including debt. Yeah, we... If that green number right there goes above 50 every month, we are set. A bus stop is cheaper? Absolutely. Transport them via helicopter. Nothing yet, Havocs. Don't jinx me though, dude. Doing fine. What's this game? A city builder with factories or something? Uh, Dieter, this is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It is a... It is a centralized communist city builder. Yeah. Now, if that sounds, if that leaves kind of a crappy taste in your mouth, yeah, I don't blame you. This is actually one of the best city builders I've ever played. Turns out that video games are great for enacting fantasies and escapisms. So, a communist city builder works actually really well as a game. Works great as a video game. Not in real life. Nope. 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 Not a good idea in real life. Yep. But in game, though, works fantastic. What happened to the giant ore refinery city? It failed. Stasis, it failed, dude. Yeah, I failed. I screwed up. I didn't get my heating right and everybody left and I was spiraling out of control with debt. Would it be good to have a one-way bypass of the roundabout? Yeah. Yeah, sup. Keep dreaming, pal. So yeah, Workers and Resources is like, you're in control of everything. I play the game on maximum difficulty, so if you... Yeah, you, you, you play the game on max difficulty, you're dealing with everything. And I mean everything. Right down, so like construction, you have to procure the trucks. The trucks need fuel. And where are you getting the resources from? You, you, right now I'm importing concrete and I'm importing gravel and asphalt and stuff, but you can eventually make it yourself if you want to. Um, yeah, it's it's tough, man. It's a tough game. For what it's worth, I spend hours on Snow Stone Runner basically pretending to be a truck driver and fixing infrastructure and owning a whole fleet of really cool trucks. Kathy, it's, a, it, it's an awful idea. It, it's a great theory, but awful idea. Because... It doesn't take into account that humans aren't perfect. You have to get everybody to comply. And humans don't like being told to how to do things. So, yeah, it, it's not, it's never going to work. It'll never work. It's, that, it's, it's never going to. Look, man, you give everybody a free lunch. Someone will complain about it. That's just humans. That's what we do. We're, we're contrarian in nature. It's never That'll never work. It'll never work. It never will. Yeah, I just, it's a great game though. I'm not contrarian. I'm not contrarian at all. But anyway, you know, ideologies aside, this is an amazing game. It's really, really fun. Really, really fun. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. It's a very hard game to play. I like challenging games. Um, you're engineering everything out with a factory. Like you could clearly tell that this is an industrial site, right? Like you engineer everything. 
you know, you can place the factory down, that's fine. Like this loud factory, this is the explosive, I'm making explosives and I'm selling them, right? The explosive factory needs chemicals. So it's feeding chemicals from this warehouse here. These arrows, these lines with the arrows on them, those are conveyor belts, like, like Factorio. So I have a chemical factory. It's called Our Chemical Romance. Yep. Chemical factory is exporting chemicals. It's moving chemicals out to the to this warehouse, and this warehouse is giving chemicals to the explosive factory so they can make explosives. Now, on top of that, for whatever reason, the explosive factory needs wood and gravel. So the gravel is basically trucked in. There's the gravel supply out back, and the wood is in this storage facility here where trucks drop it off, and those are being conveyed in. The explosive factory output right here, that's the boom boom room right there, has my export, my product there that's ready for export. So that's just one aspect of it. I built it out to be future proofed so we don't, we could belt the gravel in with aggregate, aggregate belts, and we could build out for another chemical plant. Uh, that's all future proof stuff though. Anything that's kind of green is kind of blueprints almost. That's stuff that I've planned that I haven't made. Um, like over here, that one is being built. That's the food factory. The reason why I built all that out the way that I did is because we have a huge grain silo right here. That grain silo, right, is, uh, being fed crops from these fields. And, the, you know, it only grows at certain times. It only grows certain times during the year. But we take those crops and we use them to make alcohol and then we'll use them to make food. If I use them to make food here, I don't need to import food anymore. So if we go into our expenses here, import of resources, last month, we're importing 4,600, 4,600 bucks worth, or rubles worth of fuel every, or food every month. It's 13,000 fuel. That's 19 tons. We can crank out 19 tons of food in a day. So it offsets that cost, and then we can export food on top of that. If we export food on top of that, food is trading at 216 a pop, 216 per ton. So this thing at maximum capacity is only gonna take a day to meet the requests for that entire city over here. And then the rest is all profit. Now, I know what people are thinking, profit in this game? Well, it's state profit, so I can build more. We were not profitable for February. That's not good. I wonder why our exports were only 60,000 comparatively to the previous two months. Huh, <sighs> King Kitten, it's rage inducing, isn't it? Yeah, this is a tough game, dude. It's a tough game to play. That's why I like it. That's why it's fun. It's very, it really gets the gears turning. February isn't done yet. Yeah. too well that month um, it's because I spent I spent cash on starting to get the materials for the food factory so and we're finishing these ones here yeah trucks probably stuck at the border Simon that's yeah you're probably right What's this goofy looking streamer doing on my YouTube feed? What's EJSA stand for anyway? <laughs> Cali Malachi, how are you? Uh, Eric Johnson Space Administration. <laughs> I'm a STEM streamer, dude. What I do is, uh, this is actually my first time streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I'm simulcasting. Uh, go faster! Oh, that, oh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? I was, dude, Callie. I was wondering. I'm like, who is that? The, I don't. 
it's sprung pant. No, all right. Oh, fix plant. Nope, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, it, oh, it's oh, it's you. He bends over and speaks from his rear. Oh, him. <laughs> Pro YouTube streamer. Oh, yeah. oh, just the real deal, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know who's who. It's so damn confusing. <laughs> uh. Is that this? Is that what this is gonna be for the next like month? Just me, people doing that, being like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, hey, uh, your spoon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Spoon, I got you. What was the maximum yields of crop last year? Um, I don't know off the top of my head what the whole yield was, dude. Uh, because we're taking the crops and we're making it, we're making it into alcohol. So, I mean, I'm sure we could extrapolate it, but it actually wasn't high. I didn't. I lost a lot of crops, dude, because we didn't have the extra distros ready. Um, the thing is, we're gonna have to buy trucks for. For these and that's going to be a not inconsequential spend I'm tempted to make a spoof account to see if you can guess who I am please don't do that I forgot my YouTube had a different name now it's all good what's going on buddy go faster <laughs> you had fun on uh, Friday that was that was good man that was a good time uh, we're not gonna do it this week but the week after we'll probably jump back in again for racing. Trans Ams were hella fun. Yeah, it's always a good time, bro. What impact does crime have? It screws with productivity. Uh, it screws with productivity because it screws with happiness. Uh, right now, it's actually not too incredibly bad. Oh, one of the distros is finished. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then the grain silo unload. Storage percentage 100. Now we gotta buy trucks for this thing. Um, you need more, ugh, according to their happiness. Oh, really? Well, the other thing I was doing is, oh, I didn't choose radio. Or did I? No, I didn't. Ah, ah. Yeah, we're going for Grand Monuments, which should be... Bing! There we go. Prevention. Right there. There you go. We need a bus route for the two small churches to satisfy people satisfy people's evil religious needs. Yep. Uh, I'm actually I actually made a parking lot and stuff uh, for that eventually. Uh, yeah, they'll be able to just walk to it and stuff, or take their car there and drive to church. There's no ha ah, cat. I hate this place. Up, he'll never guess who I am. Oh boy. I don't know. 
Something about 5.7 by 28 or something like that. I don't know. It's weird. How are how are you talking taking to the two how are you taking to the two chats? It's actually not bad. Um, yeah. It's not bad. I, I thought I would have more trouble with this J Speed, but then again, YouTube chat is going quite slow. So like Wow, that's like super crisp, dude. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. No, Spoon, it's not a big deal. I wonder if there's a way to aggregate them. Yeah, sup, there is. Uh, we'll work on it over over the course of this week. Yeah, Drummer and I will figure it out. Did you upgrade your camera? Yep. Yeah, man. I have a Elgato face cam. It can do up to 4K. Right now, I'm 1080p at 60. Look at that. Whoa. And I upgraded the mic, too. I don't know if it... I don't know if you guys can make a difference. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but I definitely, uh, definitely uh, upgraded the mic. Uh, I'm using the mixer again. But if I press that on again over there, we're good. So I have the mixer back, so we'll plug the guitar in and stuff and we can jam. Dr guitar and the drums and stuff. We should update your Twitch description and website for the gear that you use. Okay, get on it. Drummer, my, my dashboard's open on the streaming computer. Just don't hit any of the buttons I wouldn't. I think I can hear a difference. Is the mic still placed on the table? Nope. Nope, it's hanging off of a boom on a bookshelf that's behind my desk. Well, see, like, you know, I have muscle memory of looking left, but I also have muscle memory of looking right to check for Discord messages. So I already I already have kind of was in a cycle of looking over here anyway, because the alerter is over there and music is over there, too. Finally got a boom stepping up. Yeah, and I, dude, the mic that we bought was no joke. I may have splurged a little bit on a... Uh, Yeah, we may have we may have splurged a little bit. So your IBM keyboard doesn't do anything. I think the USB poke broke something. Uh oh. Splurged. Spent a little too much. Shotgun mic hanging from a boom. My boy's grown up. Yeah, don't worry. That's probably not the smartest decision. Sticking the screwdriver in there to fix that, huh? Reboot it. Go ahead. Let's get off my nose. Deep velvet, very white. This comes out with a new mic. Oh, thank you very much. I did not, I didn't touch anything. Uh, well, restart it. Restart the computer. I did not. Food factories getting work done. Second distro. Oh, there go the tractors. The stream is like 5% quieter in general, but, but very clear. I can turn this up a little bit. We can turn it up. Um, turn up the mixer. I'm not sure if that's gonna change much, but we'll we'll see. Um, okay, so we're gonna need to splurge a little bit again, and we're gonna need to buy some trucks. 
Those MZ504s can move 10 tons of crops at 54 miles an hour. Skodas can move 10 tons at 38. All right, we'll uh, we'll get we'll do that. 54. That's pretty good. All right, um, we gotta do a pretty significant spend here. We need 12 of them. Here goes nothing. have to suspend some construction. The only construction that's being done is the other distro, which we don't have enough trucks for now, uh, and the food factory. The food factory, majority majority of resources for that thing are already on site, so at least the expensive ones, like steel. Does the new distribution have power? No, Elephant, it doesn't. Yeah, we're doing YouTube now, Ryan. Yep, yep. You should do a room tour? I have a green screen for a reason, man. You don't need to see my crappy office. <laughs> you should get a banjo? A banjo? watch this cluster clock at the border. I'll be back one second.
I'm back. Hey, the, you guys fixed the border. Thank you very much. Now, I stepped on a USB cable. Guys, uh, that was going to the auto streaming computer and it, one of the leads on the USB on the serial bus is contacting the outside. And uh, yeah, it, the, the MOBO detected a short. And so we unplugged the USB cable and it popped it. Yeah, it's fine. It detected it though, so we're we good. Yeah, most motherboards have that feature, so yeah. Almost no money. Yeah, I had to make an investment. We had to invest in all these trucks. Uh, for for harvest my want to replace that cable. Oh, I threw it in the trash Tessa. Don't worry about it Yeah, shorts shorts are bad. It's cold out shorts are bad not a good idea All right, so let's go back over here does this thing have All resources for that are on site both of those distros are done, which is good. Yeah, don't worry about the no power supply thing. Um, the no power supply is, just means that you won't be able to fill it up with fuel. Uh, distros are fine without it. About 10 days, you lost 5K. Yeah, that was from importing the rest of the resources, but now if we just let it chill for a little bit, we should be good. It was the remainder of the expenses for that. For the food factory, dude. All right, so this is, uh, what about longs? Are they also bad? What? Us? Yeah, it's just gonna take him a second to finish that up. I could put the other labor depots on it though. If you wanna speed up that process. There's really no rush though. Shorts are bad, what about longs? Uh, 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 medium. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Thoughts on cargo pants, amazing.
hey, it's done. All right. I think I fried a Model M, guys. Stepping on that damn USB port, I think I fried the Model M that's attached to the auto computer. I don't know what that is, Aquilex, but uh, yeah, it looks doesn't look doesn't look good. I'm not happy about that. Used to be a PCB, but. I don't know, Tessa. You know, it was working just fine this morning and then I stepped on that USB cable and then it shorted and that was it. Uh, the keyboard isn't working even after a restart, which is not good. And then if you plug it in, plug in the Model M, the lights turn on for a second and then they go right out. Here, actually, you know what? Can't blue flare, they don't. I guess that Twitch doesn't like it. Give me one second. Drummer, shut that, shut that computer down, unplug the keyboard, turn it on, then shut it down again, like right after that. Try that. Like, shut it down, unplug the keyboard, turn it on. You know, have it boot, it probably won't boot with no, with no keyboard, but we'll see. And then shut it off again, plug it back in, turn it on again, see what happens. See what happens. Is that truck ever gonna get fixed? It's almost hard. Well, it's not almost hard. Export. We're back exporting, which is good. Still working with IRQ numbers, what do you mean? No, oh, okay, Norath, I got you. The UPS for the front system, yes.
Yeah, that's why, Simon, that's why I didn't turn on the food factory. Hey, 27, or 2.7. It was 2.9 to start the stream, guys. Pretty good. If you put 10 people in the food factory now, you could get rid of your food import 10 to 15. Uh... I'm worried about the crop usage, see Kraken. Something happened to the harvest? Uh, Moondoggy, nothing happened particularly bad. I just didn't have enough trucks. I didn't have enough trucks to get all, all 29 fields. Or, well, I'm, I'm running 24 right now. But I have a new fleet of trucks ready to go. What the hell was that noise? I have a new fleet of trucks ready to go. He needs more workers and or resources. Good progress. You want to see a picture of my new mega project? Yeah, sure. We have 1,300. I don't know, that alcohol factory might pull. It might pull everything, dudes. <laughs> and what channel do you post a picture on Discord? Uh, just general. General will work. Drummer on the garage PC, yes. Your new mega project. Let's see. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... I like it. That's good. Got a rail, got a rail terminal over there. Is that a refinery? It looks a, like a big enough footprint to be a refinery. Either that or a steel mill. <laughs> looks good, man. Is there water export in this game? You can export it by a truck, if I'm remembering right. Yep, we're back up to 30 Gs. We're making cash. on the PS2 port, Tessa. Where's the car dealership planned to be? I was actually thinking right here. Refinery, asphalt, and concrete with a train in export. And people. Nice. I was thinking of shifting it over here. Okay. Let's see cracking. I think so. Sorry, more like 2,000. Okay. Do we have a bus stop to visit the two historic churches? Our first tourism area. Uh, no, I don't have that up yet. I gotta be careful about spending. We were positive for a couple of months there and then, then we weren't. Yeah, so that's probably what's going on. I'll, we'll get a I'm going to break for space news here in a little bit. Um, planning is free. Oh, uh, I'm going to take a break for space news. I'd like to do a space news cast, I guess. Um, Uh, well, Hellfish, I'm thinking about how I'm going to do how I'm going to do that with the simulcast. We're going to have to change the category, and in order to change the category on the tubes, you have to stop the YouTube stream. Does that mean every time I do like I do space news, I have to start and stop? You have to tee up another stream. Oh Jesus! I wonder if people don't do this. It's not the title that I'm worried about, Tess. It's the category. I can't see a category in YouTube as to watch your stream.
It's YouTube, just tag everything. Okay. This is gonna be, it's gonna have to be something we gotta figure out, dude. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, force. that's what I'm wondering. Huh. We are in a pickle. Twitch is better for live content. Yeah. Mm. Nice hat. What is it? Uh, it's a hat. changes. Dude. Nice. You can just have timestamps time to find the category swaps. Yeah. That's cool. Um, now you know what? It's probably better that we don't do that just yet. What I just, what I was just trying to do. I was gonna split it to the food factory, but we don't have the crops to even get the distill keep the distillery rolling right now. So we actually might have to end up importing some crops, which not a worst thing. Not the worst idea. Oh, nice, Elfish. There you go. Yeah, importing crops is not that big of a deal. Um, and if that's the case, yeah, let's uh, find one of the blue buses. Yeah, the labor to produce is never a bad thing. We'll go 
We'll go 90-10 on there. And we'll start making some food. If we have to bring in crops, we have the means to do so, so I'm not worried. I would set the train to import crops of silos less than 10%. You need a train distribution office to do that, to my knowledge, Simon. I don't have that. You do? To, to my knowledge, yeah. Twenty-seven, zero two point seven on the dot. We're buying it down, dudes. Can't believe that we're actually making money. When I, when I was all done buying all these trucks right here, we had 32 Gs, and now we have 39. That export, dude, that alcohol export with explosives and everything, man, that's really doing us solid. Is that on an explosive export line? It is. Oh. That's fine, Erudite. That only helps me. I appreciate it. No, you lose wear and tear on the build uh, on the building, Joey. If you if you have a, if a building catches on fire and you put it out, the wear and tear, the building is going to require more maintenance. Arpazak, yeah, let me let me see. I see it. I see it. There's a workers and resources category on, on the Discord. You gotta go jump to it, but. This looks, yeah, I don't see why this wouldn't work. Just make sure you click on each intersection here, dude. Like, click on them. And make sure you hit this button here to tell them when to yield. Tell them when to stop and tell them when they have the right of way. That's important to get the logic right. All you gotta do is just click on the interchange. And then if you do change something, make sure you hit accept changes there. Yeah, that I don't see why that wouldn't work. As long as you have yields and right of ways in the right spot, sure, why not? Check it when it's built. Yeah, sure, man. It's awesome, Hillness. It's such a good game, dude.
I'm looking around for stuff that we can sell. Facing each other. Huh. There's a mod that's called Simulating America or something for cities where terraforming costs money and there's no government subsidies. Oh, I'm kind of in. Dude. What's been happening in the Republic? We're cash flow positive into 1972, dude. Buying down that debt. 2.6. We started at 2.9 this afternoon. Yeah, I got the food factory made, and then I expanded our distribution, and even doing that, we're still making money. As long as that green number up there goes above 50 Gs every, every month, we're good. Now, the one before it is minus 76, because I spent a little bit. I needed more trucks for more distribution. But more trucks for more distribution, in the, it means more crops, means more export. So we'll actually make, we should be able to make that back very, very quickly. But between explosives, chemicals, and alcohol export, uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. We're doing pretty good. Is that a bureau? Yeah. Rally, yeah, rally is, yeah. Are you making your own oil? No, no. Yeah, Vagabond, we're cash flow positive, dude. Absolutely. Are you the opposite of the DEA? Uh, we're the opposite, opposite of the ATF, I guess. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we don't have alcohol, we have chemicals. We have chemicals, explosives, and alcohol. So, tobacco you know, has chemicals in it. Food factory is functioning, yep. It's producing. In fact, yeah, we should probably set the distro. sure who's producing enough let's let's get that thing let's get that thing filled up
talking about, man. I know nothing. I'm happy to see that you don't look like Michael Jackson anymore. Oh, oh, oh. oh you woke up today and chose violence, huh? Damn. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I got a new mic, new camera. Look at this. This pokey streaming show actually looks kind of professional. Now, um, the real reason I did it, guys, is for NSF Live. I looked like I was being filmed on a potato with that old camera so I was vision but I'm not building too fast now we, we're good to go we're good to go but light green halo just a little bit dude we got we'll dial it in over the next couple of days dude Here we go, 53, we're profitable. We're good, 69,420 export, no sh It's 423, but you know what, still counts. 69,423. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I guess we'll get some hotel standards. Profitable. Now the rest of the flats. I want a little bit more breathing room, Simon. Image sharpness looks so crisp. Thank you. I'm gonna really blow your mind when I tell you that we're uh, we're simulcasting the stream. This is the first one. Hello, my YouTube friends. Hello. Oh yeah, we're simulcasting it, dude. Pretty crazy. <sighs> Hello, you industrious people. Sorry. Did you make YouTube friends already? No, it's mostly just everybody from Twitch chat just over there. Will simulcasting happen with every stream going forward? That's the plan, Nova. Yeah, I would like to do that. And we're off the air in Korea. Yep. <laughs> Hello, my industrious little friend. That 50K is spread throughout the month, so technically the green is your profit. Eh? Yeah. Question, so on Fridays, do you restream NSF to Twitch and YouTube or only Twitch? Uh, 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 I had 
hadn't really thought about that. Never thought I'd say live hello to EJ from YouTube. Hey, Chief. What's up, man? start building out over here just it's parking lots and stuff it's not gonna be too much of an investment yeah um i'll probably stop that the youtube stream during nsf live yeah i'll probably stop it so drummer had a plan yeah i'm so glad that april fool's nonsense is over with TJ, here's to Starship Cheers, Clayton. What's going on? Double watching two streams at once. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, Aquas, yeah. Oh, man, we're, we're, we're super profitable. And I wanted to try and do spaces, but I also want to play this. I might take a 15er and then we'll come back uh, just to go grab some food. What's even new in Spacnack? Nothing. I just wanted to do it to see how this kind of all comes together. Not sure if you saw, but look. Oh, I saw that. Making money illegal. Don't you have a British bloke that's to grab you food? Yeah. No. Yeah, we do. We're, we made, look at that, dude, 92,000 on the export. Not bad, man, not bad. From the new NSF article, the electronics board for the Artemis III box that failed during the test was a different manufacturer, different lot, so there was what we call part separation between the two boards, even though the design was identical. Why would you do that? Why why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you buy the same board from two different companies for two different for two different for two missions that are different during your testing regime for your capsule? Why why would you why would you do that? Redundant supply? I I guess uh I don't know. Discovery, go at throttle up. Hey, Deepak, 42 months. Uh, during testing, seems like it very stupid thing to do but there there has to be more to it i'll bet you it has to do i bet you it has to do with supply supply chain and cost yeah 
cost for your engineering testing regime on your capsule. That's... Guess we're just putting prices on human lives now. That's, that's good. Sure. We're gonna launch when we're ready, though. It's implied that they got lucky with the first parts. It happens with Samaro. When we get part when we get parts that are the same from different suppliers, depending on who for part availability. If the supplier is certified, we could buy from him. If it's the same part, different manufacturer. Yeah, different manufacturer. Yeah, dead crew. Finish yeah, type the rest of it out. I'd rather use the same supply so it would be more reliable. Great, same. Yeah, exactly, Marco. I'm with you. <laughs> Shin, Shin me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Marco, uh, over in the YouTube chat. I agree. I agree. I think that's a really unwise thing to do during testing. Have differential manufacturing parts, but if you're going to insist on two manufacturers, testing one and then testing the other might be a good idea. I really, really don't understand why you would test one for a completely different mission profile than the set, than the other uh, if you insist on using two, two manufacturers for to fulfill or to eliminate supply chain bottlenecks. If you wanted to do the testing right, you'd test Artemis 2 with one board and then you'd repeat the Artemis 2 again with another. And then you'd do the same for Artemis 3. So you'd have like Artemis 2 and Artemis 2A with the, with the secondary suppliers. That would be the best way to test it. But they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do it that way because that way costs too much money. Okay, so we, you know, the, so, okay. If it costs too much money, if you're sacrificing money, well, guess what? There's like a correlation between money, time, and like quality, right? So you're, you don't wanna spend too much money. So if you want a quality job, it's going to take more time. Pretty straightforward stuff, dude. And what do you see? Artemis is delayed. It's not rocket science, man. Or, or is it? You just got back from a 1.8 mile walk. Wait, good for you. Good for you, bud. Excellent. Yeah, EJ is just omnipresent, Shin. Don't worry. Like, I just, I, I don't get it. It's, I'm, I'm failing to understand why you would test this way. And I'm not trying to bark up Lockheed's tree. There's no way I know more than them about testing. But once again, this is like, all, what, their testing regime, the more and more of it, the more it comes into focus, Phil, is the, it seems like it's, Totally going against the way NASA has proclaimed that they engineer things. The only thing I could think of at this part that would be two different suppliers are certified for this part. However, one had an issue, the other did not. We ran into a similar issue not too long ago with a box from a manufacturing major manufacturing constant AWACS, but our suppliers didn't have that issue. Yeah, fish. Yeah, dude, it's really freaking annoying, man. Like, guys, like the. The only reason I make a big deal out of it is because, once again, NASA's engineering manual says, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do it. Don't. Don't do that. And here we are. Like, what? I, am I, like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, dude. Like, Blue Steel, Ferrari, Latiqua, they're the same thing. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. No, 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 no. You don't understand. When will you realize that your actions have consequences? You freaking fricks! You freaking fricks! You ruined song! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Tessa, you can't help but think that, man. Like, I don't know what else to say. You for think, Rex? You ruined Sonic! <laughs> I don't know, like, what, what do you want me to say? What, what do you want me to do? It's something connived in the early 2000s. Have you assigned the alcohol line to pick up food as well? No, I have not. That's working off Yistro, though. Uh, I could tell it to load food, and then... Xanon, we could tell it to export food. Just export whatever food is there. Um, actually, what we could tell that distro to do is... Well... Let's see. Uh, what's the storage capacity? 172. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's yep. Yeah, okay. Um, 8.6. So 5% would be 8.6 tons. Uh, if we set this distro to... We, yeah, setting the distro to leave storage percentage above five uh, should get us what we want. We have this at least. Yeah, I've seen the gateway picture. Do you have to send food to the grocery store? Is that automatic? I have a grocery store depot up here. What I'm trying to figure out, Playing Bang, is what percentage do we need? Uh, actually, grocery distro is over here. Discovery, go at throttle up. Um, what percentage do we need to stay in that warehouse if we need to feed these people? I want to buy one more distro truck. What I could do is take one of these out of the explosives uh, export. Yeah. I, you know, with the distro pulling and leaving 5% storage, there's just gonna be a buffer. And 5% of 172 is 8.6, uh, give or take, I think. Yeah, that seems right. Let's say DOS is okay to restream NSF. How do you plan to read three chats? Uh, with my eyes is the answer to that question, Alex. I don't know what. I don't know why that's a pertinent question. With my eyes is the way to way to do that. That's how you read chat. I don't. I don't know, dude. I, it's not a problem. I read three chats already. Yes, like I could keep up with five. It's not a big deal. I'm confident in myself. With my eyes is the answer I'm gonna go with. Now. <laughs> the third eye. Yeah. Oh yeah, my eyes are wide open, man. How many eyes do you have? Like seven. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Hey, or not? Turnox over to the YouTube chat, just doing his thing. Waznor with the 54 months. Thanks, man. So what we'll do is we will make a quick purchase of more W50s here. Actually, the MZ504 cupboards actually move more, but, you know, we'll keep it uniform. We'll keep it uniform. W50 cupboards. Right? Keep it uniform. Hey, keep it fair, keep it fair, keep it uniform. It's actually one of the slower trucks in the freaking game. Uniformity can go to hell. Alright, fine. Get those ones then. Now we export food. And if we do this right, that means I can go to this depot over here, 
shut off food loading and go here and add food loading storage percentage zero that mean this way logically means that this thing is always going to pull food from here when it needs and as long as we're floating a five percent surplus of that factory that's when we'll start exporting now if we really wanted to do this right we could have the food in the we would have the food and the alcohol go to different storages but this is fine it's looking like most places will have cloud cover for the eclipse Oof-da. All right, guys, it's five o'clock. Uh, pretty sure Drummer's getting a little Drummer's getting a little hungry. We're going to, uh, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna take a quick 15er. And then I haven't really figured out how we're gonna do Space News with the YouTube stream. So I'm just gonna take a quick break. I will be back in about 15 minutes, okay? May I ask if Twitch or YouTube will support higher resolutions than 1080p for the stream? Uh, uh, I don't think, I know Twitch can't do that. Um, I'm not sure about YouTube. I'll get back to you on that one. Time to get, I mean, hi. All right. Um, so we're just going to pause this here real quick. And I will be, dude, it's weird seeing like not discolored me over there. I'm like, what is that? That bright, that bright thing. Dude, look, even the banana shows up now. We really dialed this thing in. Um, honestly, having conversations split between two places might make it a little easier. Yeah, poison. It's not a big deal. Like, I'm check. I I was already checking this monitor all the time. I have um, Streamlabs notifications over there and Discord notifications over there. Like, you've seen me look over there. Like, it, it's not that hard to just jump back and forth. really dialed this stream in blender yep so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna be back in a second uh we're just gonna take five here and i'll just put us back onto the to the title screen uh and then we'll we'll go from there i'm great at smh'ing my head that's right all right i will be back in 15 okay
outer space. I just walked in here to find that look uh, of chat upon you, your face. All right, shut up, Rimney World. We will get back to Chernobyl. Ready? Oh, yes, we're back. Low mic volume. How's that? That should be better. Whoa, I can hear again. Let me just make sure they have acquisition of signal. Over on the YouTube end. Hi back. Okay. They, uh, yep. Yep. So what was tasty? We wanted to borrow some brown sugar. Is that a Fanta? Hi, C. Hi, Charlie. Wait. Uh, okay. All right, dudes. I did not want, I did in fact not want a Fanta. Oh, okay. I whooped, I whooped 10 chicken McNuggets. All right, we're good. So, I think when I left off, I bought two more distribution trucks. And now we should be moving food. Yeah. Tendies, that's right. We just got those MC504s. That was the two distro trucks that I bought. But we are making money, dudes. Yeah. We kind of hit a an inflection point, dude. Looks like Friday Night EJ from last Friday really, really hooked us up. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is that we're going to run out of crops before the harvest happens. Uh, uh. Do I still have that oil export on the other side of the map? Yeah, in Tevriyi. Yep. Still just doing its thing. I have all this construction equipment over here, too, that built this, and I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. What do you have to do to get rid of those yellow worker signs? Uh, those are railroad tracks that need to be made. Build things? Okay. Assuming the roads are connected, just reassign it all. Build out a refinery town. see. Does that Mack truck have a connection? It does somehow, but it does. Okay. All right. Say it wasn't you. Make it that way, then turn around for fuel. <laughs> Please, no. How about up here? 
Did we get that? Uh, okay, all that construction is done. Okay, move to there. And there. Those explosives really doing us solid there. And then I think the last thing that I did before I left was get distro. We weaned ourselves off food import. Uh, the trucks are gonna pull from the warehouse now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to export fuel via trains. There's no way we should truck that stuff. That that's really not a good idea. But those MZ504s do move 10 or 6.3 tons of tons of that stuff. So maybe how much food do these things move? And the Mack trucks move eight tons of food. You know what? I got an idea. Add this to lick a pole, export food to NATO. Playing with house money, might as well. scene by accident there we go dude get having the double chat and stuff and like we reconfigured around my obs a little bit it it feels like i'm not in my office it feels like i'm on somebody else's setup and i don't like it the only way to get a really really get around that is to skip the music around the only way to really get around that is to just sit here until it feels comfortable and keep doing it. It's very strange. Oh boy. Two chats. Yeah, Admiral. This is Simon. We're simulcasting, dude. Discovery, go at throttle up. Coder, 27 months. Now Denny's talking crap about jumping the restart on Saturday night. Woody, you moved your monitors at work and it's taken some getting used to. Coder, 27 months. You had no problem with DOS' setup. Yeah, but that's because I have somebody that's working, a producer for the show, Chief. Kevin and, and Patrick are doing, did the back end for those streams, so they handled it, so I could just, I could just worry about just being me. Now that you have food and fabric up, you're going to be cutting down on crop export. I have food and distillery, and, and yes, yeah, absolutely. I don't think, dude, we definitely don't have enough to keep that thing going the whole day. That's, or the, every, like between every year. Discovery, go at throttle up. Katra, I might have to end up importing crops, uh, but importing is okay. As long as the majority of our crops are offset by the majority of the import, like we're not, we import like maybe 20 to 30% and the 60, the rest of the 60 comes from here, we're good to go.
Yeah, we're making money, dudes. We made money in April. Again, uh, 20 G profit easily. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we should look into trucking the food uh, and alcohol potentially for train export. Um, we talked about that a little bit earlier. I might get clothes out of here for now um, and put it in another village. Put clothing in another village like Viscovice over here. Uh, I think I actually evacuated this area. Oh no, 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 it's still good. She's still good. She's still good, bro. So maybe like build the highway out there, right? Build a highway, dig a retention pond for these for these guys, get drainage and plumbing up and ready to go, and then get electricity out here as well. Uh, I mean, they already have the tracks for a train station. And maybe put a silo right here. Maybe have the trains move this stuff down here. Put the crops down here for fabric, and that would give me a reason to put the other grain silo back up so we could straight export I mean the the second silo could be used for in conjunction with a railway distribution depot or we could use it as farmland as well you can make it export continuously yep mm-hmm You can make it export continuously, guys. It's totally doable. And remember, this yield from this year is going to be crazy because I have way more trucks now. Is that how it's set right now? What do you mean, Aqualux? Train is not set on a loop. I've always set the train on a one loop run. See the last step right there? Uh, Litasec Long Train Depot, nothing. That means it does one run and comes back. The food was good, drummer? All right, excellent, man, excellent. I don't see the extra silos really needed. The food factory will soak all those fields. If we are if we move clothing away, yes, we will. But if we don't move clothing here, Clang, then no, no, we don't. However, once again, the trucks, even the best truck, this is the best hauling truck in the game only moves eight tons of food at a time. It might be better to export that via train, especially to the border. Just a thought. Hey, Sunsi, what's up? Chicken tasted slightly different, but still great. 15 sauces I didn't use. <laughs> the lady was super nice to us. Yeah, she was cool. Would the train need new cars for hauling food, clothing, or is it the same train? Same stuff. Did I lose anything, like the silos catching fire again? Uh, no, son... Later part of December 1972 or 1971, we were we were good to go. Uh, we're profitable. Uh, whatever I did on Friday, and Friday was a blur. Whatever I did, I, my guess is that it's pretty much getting the distillery up and then getting the labor for explosives, chemicals, and distillery. And now food factory, we're we're good, man. I have bought down the debt, dude. 2.6. We started the day. We started the day at 2.9. which is actually really cool. When that debt goes below 2 million, I'm gonna refinance again. We'll refinance 2 million at five, uh, at five years. 
and uh, that will consolidate down our monthly payments even more. And it we're yeah we're we're in a good we're we're meta stable right now. Drummer is here till next week, Admiral. Yeah, he's been helping me upgrade everything. I don't know if you guys know. Look at the camera. I don't look like an alien no more. I don't look like an alien no more. Hey, fish. Did I tell you the dream I had last night? I had a dream someone brought back the space shuttle. The space shuttle program and fixed all the programmatic errors, and I woke up before the first launch, but still cool, still a good dream. It was, it was, it was not, it was not a, it was not a bad dream. DX, hey man, 77 months, thank you very much. <laughs> it was not a bad dream. I just woke up and I'm like, ah, I didn't even get to see the freaking launch, man. No. It's something I've been kind of thinking about in my head dude like you know so in the dream all right here this is in my dream keep in mind I'll, I'll, I'll talk and work i don't see why you're not using the train to move everything in and out of that complex i can the the train tracks are only connected to crops halsey uh that's my thing um in my dream starship was so good at what it did it brought down the cost of space flight so much like in this dream that like single stick rockets didn't make any sense anymore. Like even Falcon 9, like Falcon 9 was SpaceX was like, we're not using that because Starship became the end all be all. So in my dream, this company shuttle incorporated or something was like, we need to, we need options to compete with Starship. We got to compete with Starship, right? We got to compete with it. So this imaginary company from my dream was like, you know, let's revisit bringing the shuttle back. Let's, re let's revisit the shuttle. Something like that. We have the technology to be able to fix all the problems. Yeah, it was an awesome dream. It was, a, it was an awesome dream. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, but there was kind of a premise to it. Like, I'm not, not upset about that. X-33, so you're saying there's a chance. But yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, it's called Venture Star. It was the space shuttle in my dream, dude. I don't have any, didn't have any control over that. If I had it my way, in my dream, it would have been Venture Star, all right? So Dream Chaser sized up? No, it was the space shuttle. It was just straight up the space shuttle, dude. Yeah, it was an awesome dream. No, nah, no, it was a banger. Dude, it was it was it was magical. It made me so happy. Which one? Ah, uh, it, it wasn't that wasn't a detail. It was just the space shuttle. Carbon fiber body space shuttle with metallic DPS would be a beast. What if we just went with carbon fiber SRBs? But then again, they made them steal they made them steal the favor reusability. Hmm. Space shuttles using beamed power. Oh, I wish, dude. Comrade, I think you meant Buran, not capitalist flying contraption. The shuttle was such a good design, son, that even the Russians copied it. Alright? That's how good of a design that thing was. Crazy to me that some people have full control over their dreams. I have lucid dreams from time to time. That one I didn't have any control over. They, in in the dream, the, in my dream, the company that was doing this, it was, it was really unnamed, it wasn't mentioned, uh, consulted me about space shuttles. They're like, you, you know how the shuttle works. And uh, that's how I knew I was dreaming, but hey, whatever. I'm like, you wouldn't come to me for that information, but hey, what you know, it's still cool, I'll still answer it. They copied it because they didn't know what it was. I'm the one who told you that, you dope. I was making a joke. Mm, 
Chief, I will run your container ship into a bridge. It lost power, huh? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Don't make me don't make me slap you. I'ma slap you in front of your kids. Too fast, too soon. In the 25 years of my existence, I never once had a lucid dream. Lucid dreams are pretty cool, Jackery. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Um, I don't so much have lucid dreams much anymore. I used to have them a lot. I have dreams where I know I'm dreaming. Like, you know when you're watching a movie and you're like, that wouldn't happen in real life. That's fake. My dreams nowadays are me... My dreams nowadays are like, oh, I must be dreaming. This is a dream. That's not realistic. Like, I will actually my own frigging dreams. <laughs> Who the hell would make that up? Oh, my God. It's like when you say it, like when I'm thinking about it and say it like that, I will actually my own stupid dreams. I'm like, no, no, this wouldn't happen like this. I'm dreaming. This is dumb. <laughs> that's, that's the extent of my lucid dreams, dude. I don't know what you want, man. I don't know what you want. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess control versus straight lucid. I have lucid. Well, if that's the definition of it, I have lucid dreams all the damn time. I know I'm dreaming. I can figure it out. And when I figure it out, I yeah, it's me well actually my own stupid dream. Oh boy. Like that shuttle one, I knew I was dreaming. When they, when people came to me and started asking questions about the shuttle like somebody would on stream, I'm like, yeah, okay, this is this is not happening. But it was a good dream though. <laughs> Gotta had me fooled for a second there, brain. <laughs> okay. Did I tell them to... I told them to complete those roads. All right, cool. Build out parking lots. I remember the dreams quite often. Just never had control. Yeah. Were you dropped on your head as a child? Because I was. Maybe that's the reason why it works for me. <laughs> uh, he's joke. He's joke. He's joke. I used to listen to dream all the time. But nowadays, you just go along for the ride. Oh! You do what you gotta. You do what you gotta. Uh. What do you? I always think about Inception when it comes to lucid dreams. Like, everyone is going to start attacking you. Dude, I've definitely had that kind of dream. I've had that kind of dream because of Inception, where, like, I say something and everyone's like, What's this? I'm like, oh, oh, what did I do? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, let us have this one. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. Yeah, I will do no such thing. Yeah, no, dude, it's... It really is like that. It's like my brain's trying to trying to fool me into like dreaming or people or inception is an actual thing and Yeah, it's either that or inception is an actual thing and uh I whoever's trying to incept me is failing miserably. It could be that as well. I'm I'm welcome to that being an outcome. Now face the wall, please. Your brain April fooled you? I, it did. <laughs> Are you stuck in Soviet Russia? 
and need insurance for your Buran Energia? Squawk. Well, good news. <laughs> There's a copy pasta going on over in the YouTube chat. Oh boy. Squawk! It, wait, why did Doug squawk? You screwed it up! What are you doing? It was good for a second. <laughs> it was good for a second. You screwed it up. What are you doing? Why would you do that? You know, I heard that I heard that Limu Emu is a drug dealer, crooked cop. I saw I saw a documentary on it once. It does my insurance. <laughs> I've seen in a good while. Oh god. <laughs> uh, it's getting a little warm. I'm gonna open up the door. I'm gonna vent some of the heat overboard. It's kinda sus. Ah This was brought to you by Zay Productions. Embrace the cringe. Why am I not surprised? How many buses do we have on the farm Big Boom factory line? Three. So, son, the buses that go... Oh, Geo is finished. The buses that go to the farm are the the coaches with the or the uh, GM buses with the blue stripe. Blue stripe is the farm. Brown, brown. That's the explosive and chemicals. What is the weirdest dream you've ever had? I don't know, Pigeon. I had a dream I was in hell, uh, like, about a month ago, maybe. Like, not, no, 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 like, 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 down there. Like, it was gross. It was gross. Yeah, uh. Yeah. Don't know why I had that one. That was, uh, very uncomfortable. That was a weird dream. Hell, Michigan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Burn, you sinner. Hey, hey, hey. I'm pretty damn good about that. All right, I'm better than most. What does your hell look like? Uh. Um, there's a famous painting by Francisco Goya, uh, called Saturn Devouring His Son. If you want to, uh... Yeah, it, yeah, Saturn Devouring His Son. I'm not showing that on stream, but if you wanted to, that, that's, that would be it. Yeah, it looked like that. It was weird. That was a weird dream. Really wish I didn't have that one. Yeah, that's what springs to mind. 
It's somewhere between that and a dolly painting. Hey, Juniper. Popping in to say hi. Well, hello. Well, hello there. Yeah, it was somewhere between that and the sacking, um... Sacking of Carthage. Um, there is a famous painting, uh, there's a famous painting depicting the sack sacking of Carthage, so something like that. Yeah, that's when the Romans went across the Mediterranean during the Third Punic War. Uh, Third Punic War in like 150 BC. Uh, and Carthage was a competing shipping terminal. Yes, a shipping shipping and trade hub. And they went over there and killed everybody. Yeah, seriously. Carthage was actually... All right, a little bit of a history lesson here. Carthage was actually super, super... Um, privileged ge geographically. Here, I'll show you. They had a natural port that was the best port design, like, ever. Um, where's Carthage? Would have been over here. Where are you? Yeah, okay, here we go. I was a little bit, a little ways off. So, all right, see this right here? See that guy? See how it kind of looks like a C, and then like this? They went in there and they sacked it so freaking hard. Uh, so because Carthage had a port, and the port was like the illest design. Here, I'll show you. Um, here, here, here is a render of what it was, what it looks like. That right there looked like that in antiquity. See that? They had the illest port design. Quite literally, like, uh, a concentric trading hub, right? And the Carth... Uh, the Carthaginians? I forget. These guys uh, started competing with Rome, and Rome had something to say about it. And they, they went in there and... They went in there and messed them, messed them up. I thought for you it would be brain crabs. That wasn't a dream, dang it. So yeah, they went in there and screwed that place up so hard, they filled in their damn port. They're used to, the port used to go all the way out here, but the Romans came in, killed everyone, and then filled it in. <laughs> it's really screwed up. But that's what that painting depicts, the sacking of Carthage. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, they went in there and they went in there. Venetians? Yeah, maybe. So that's where the Trade Federation battleships came from. It's quite possible, Vanguard, that that's not... Yeah, that that's... That is for real. That may have been the principal inspiration. <laughs> nice little run. Vigo was... He was not from Carthage. He was a Carpathian from Moldova. Carpathia. That's, 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 uh, Caucasian. The Caucasus, I think. Could be wrong. Carthaginians is correct. Yeah. Carthage kicked early Rome's butt. That's right. And they were not, they did not like that. They went in there and messed their day up. For you to be Dante's Inferno.
That's right, Jizzlepa. Yeah, they uh, they did not like each other. They did not like each other at all. Only a Carpathian would come back and choose New York. Tasty pick, bonehead. Okay, so maybe not the worst, but very confusing. <laughs> Go, baby. Push it to the limit. limit. Walk along the razor's edge. Don't look down, just keep your head or you'll be finished. Hey, Parthen Axe, what's up, dude? Yeah, that's actually super interesting. Predominant, what's up, man? Did you just watch Top Gun? Uh, no. Top Gun is life. Trying to get my mouse back. That song is in Top Gun? Yeah. I, re I reference Top Gun all the time, dude. That's very strange, Karis. Sorry about that. Yeah, Push It to the Limit is Scarface, not Top Gun, I don't think. Now I'm confused. No, 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 you don't understand. Here's what I think we should do. Let's, uh, uh, I already have that steel. We should use that steel to probably finish. Uh, maybe we shouldn't finish those. Hang on a second. Go back over there. Yeah, not in Top Gun. All right, cool. Man, we're researching up a storm here. Uh, tourist visa for Soviet countries. What do we want here? All good, think like it's no problem. Gas power plant. Gas power plant takes oil. Hey, all systems, did you make it? Did you make it, bud? So no more coal imports. Let's get the uh, radio broadcasting ready to go.
Yeah, heading out for some poutine. I was at dangerously low levels. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, we can't have that. I hate being productive and going to school as it makes me miss great workers content. Hey, man. Um, yeah, we, uh... Yeah, we're... Pretty, pretty good to go, actually. Discovery. Hey, North guys, we're on a 90-month resub. Also, man, I took the new Celica to the shop. Getting everything fixed on it that I couldn't do is going to be close to 8.5 Gs, but it'll be mint engine-wise once it's done. Oof. How many workers did you send to Wall to yell ah? At least three. 90 months. Yep. King, what did you miss? Well, I'm simulcasting the YouTube. That's kind of cool. I know, right? Uh, we have food. The food factory is up, and it's easily offsetting our food import costs. Like, easily offsetting our food input costs. It's not even close. Uh, so that's saving us some cash. Um, yeah, it's good, dude. All of the, it's just a matter of time now. All I do, all I need to do is just meter my construction, and we are sitting pretty. Um, I also have what surplus food that we are making right now. Um, the surplus food that we are making right now, I have uh, exported in NATO to offset my power consumption costs. Um, so yeah, we're making money across the board, dude. I got the Elgato face cam 4K, Sneaky. Uh, hey, JP, what's going on? Over in the YouTube chat? Yeah, dude. 100 tons of crops left. Let's bring it, let's bring in another train. What's the monthly death pay, debt payment, death payment, nice. What's the monthly monthly debt payment versus, uh, yeah, uh, that green number needs to be above 50. 51, 17. Uh, yeah, we're, it's, yeah, we're paying it. We're breaking even. We're above breaking even. We're, we're good. Nice mic you got there, bud. Oh, yeah. Can I check, can I check your last? Yeah, what's up? EJ, when do you get better dumpers than the BZ-252 or the T-138? I'm in 1969. Uh, better? Yep. 2.6. Yep, it was... Yeah, it was 2.9. 2.98 at the start of the day. At the start of today's stream. We're good. This is from a board game called Command Commands and Colors Ancients. This is one of the funniest things about the war. Read the historical background. Desperate for manpower and to replace the losses at Cannae, the Romans found a unique solution. They formed two legions from slaves. They were given Consul Gracchus. Grat Gra yeah, Gra Gracchus, who saw their potential and trained... They were given to the Consul Gracchus, who saw them and trained, trained them well. Two years later, still under his command, these legions engaged a Carthaginian army under Hanno. Gracchus issued a decree to his men before the battle. Freedom to any soldier bringing back a Carthaginian head. The Roman attack started well, but as soon as the Carthaginians began to fall, scores of Gracchus's troops broke ranks to decapitate corpses. Faced with a 
disintegrating army, Gracchus corrected his error by amending his decree, win the battle and secure your freedom. The slave soldiers quickly reformed and swept all before them. Interestingly, these soldiers gave their loyalty to Gracchus, not Rome. When he was killed a few years later, most of the soldiers in these legions deserted. Whoa. Gracchus, it's Gregus. Yep. Uh, uh. Oh, Jipper. Okay, yeah, you're over there in the YouTube chat. Got it, man. Got it. Why is it now 51K? Inflation? Inflation do be like that. Yep. Yeah, you freed them. Of course, of course their loyalty is there. Yeah, we're, see, there we go. We're above 50, we're above 52. We're at 56 on the, on the month. We're good. We need another train, though. Yep. Workers and resources so good. Wouldn't be EJ if he wasn't as broke as poo emoji. Thanks, we. <laughs> Thanks, you jerk. Just like Caesar's men were loyal to him because they paid them lavishly and gave them the territory he conquered. That is a pretty that is a pretty baller move, King. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's that's a pretty that's a pretty baller move. That's like high roller stuff. Yeah, plane conquered, yours now. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> Why is there a question mark above one of the trucks? It's not a question mark, it's a wrench. It's in the queue to be fixed. It's gonna be in line. <clears throat> it's gonna be ready to be repaired basically right when the harvest starts because, of course. Double EJ is the best thing ever, T-Man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are repairing them. You can actually see a gradient of condition here. Like, fix, 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 fix. Man, kind of fix. Dirty, dirty. Important question is, did you have fun? <clears throat> sure. You're talking to all systems. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Looks good. Out of debt yet, T Man? Mm. Yeah. No. How much joy will I have seeing the debt? Go. See, yeah, once we pay that off. <clears throat> it's gonna be pretty good. All good or not gonna. I visited a micro center. It's a monument to nerdiness. <laughs> yes. Mm. It's quite awesome.
Your buddy works for Micro Center. I wish I still lived up there so you could get his discount. Double annoyance? Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks, bruh. Bruh. <clears throat> double chatting, double annoyance. You don't use the helicopter? Big Dog is being used for, um... Coming up with sentences. Big Dog is being used for firefighting. Bruh. I've always wanted to go to a micro center. Come over then. It's a self insult. Not one on you. All right. Like double the, double the, bruh, bruh. Take you there. No problem. I don't know a bunch about this, but wouldn't having another bus or two help solve the labor shortages in the warehouse? The warehouse? It's crops right now, Clank Bank. Yeah. Um, we got we got enough people. Um, I don't warehouses don't take staff, dude. So I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So what's our expansion plans? I can either go back home for Christmas or visit the U.S. East Coast. Honestly, leaning on a vacation over there this year, maybe in autumn. All right. So what's the expansion plans? We're going to keep expanding down here, T-Man. And then, because, it, yeah, basically it's just expand the city so we can get the right amount of um, <clears throat> labor. Because if you notice, the food factory takes 170, it's 170 people. I'm, it's operating at nowhere near it's the right amount. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's, it's not operating anywhere near where it should be. Uh, so we need to fix that.
Did you consider checking the notify when empty tick on the grain storage with being so for important to your op? Yeah, all right, there you go. That's fair. I also added, King, I added two more distros down here. I only had the cash to fill up one of these things. That's about 100 G's worth of truck, actually 112 grand worth of trucks. So the second we get another 112 G's here, uh, we'll, uh, the second I get 112 G's and a little bit more to be comfortable, we'll hook that thing up and we'll be getting maximum yields here. Those are better trucks though. Yes, they are. The MZ504s are pretty damn good. They're almost on par with the Mack trucks. Actually, yeah, they're almost on par. These go 55, they go 54 miles an hour. These can haul 12, the other ones can haul 10. If you're net positive, can't you just fast forward till you're done with the loans? I'd prefer to expand with it, dude. Like, once I get this down below 2 G's, or 2 mil, I'm gonna refinance again. So I don't have double payments to make. Just one payment. You know what I'm saying? Right now we have 2 at 1.5. Yeah, we'll refinance again when we get below the two, the $2 million threshold. And it'll lower payments even more to make more profit. Basically, it's incremental, so I'm choosing not to fast forward. You could. You could. Sure, why not? Everything is pretty damn stable right now. The only thing, and I'm not saying it, the only thing that could throw a monkey wrench in things is... But, I think we got that under control. You need to be under 1.9, it's going to cost you over 100 G's to refinance. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say, I did not say anything, okay? I didn't say anything, okay? You could also adjust the interest to, interest to match your current monthly payments, thus making the loan pay off faster. Uh, yeah, we could do that, yeah. I mean, King, it could be worse. It could be a Sens fan. Yeah, T-Man for the most part. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I know it's messed up. I get it. You're not wrong. Four game, also four game win streak. The moment I gave up and want to tank the most sense thing ever, salt in the wound every year. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I mean, I'm not. You know. So I'm incrementally spending guys I'm, I'm going very slow on purpose i'm not building all of this all at once because i don't want to squeeze that too much we want to keep buying it down but that is my birthday It's just a waiting game now. Hmm. 
Wait, was that about the sends? No, 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 it's, no, it's good. Productivity. Right. Did SpaceX launch today from Vandenberg or was that scrubbed again? SpaceX launched last night from Vandenberg. It's a good launch. Great, beautiful visuals. Yeah. Already happened. It already happened. It's right. It already happened. At least the Tigers are doing something good. We're on a winning streak. It's the beginning of the season, dude. <laughs> it was today for you? Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> sure. Alright. Guys, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I will be right back. With Opera, I could picture in picture, so if EJ pipped himself, it would cause an infinity, right? Slash S. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pee. I'm going to pee. Uh, the grass out back must be pretty tall by now. I don't pee on the grass. I pee in the dirt. All right. T-Man, I feel like Vandenberg is a little bit slower than the cave for reuse of the for the pad. Well, it is an older design, dude.
Nice. Wow, well, there's like no stream delay between the two. How did you do that? Drummer worked this magic. He's magical. Magical. It's a plugin through OBS. We're encoding once and out and outputting twice. So you're gonna get it's it's impossible to get desync between the two unless it's on YouTube or Twitch's end, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make an elevated road here, or an elevated footpath, excuse me. So we don't have a big problem with the level crossing right there. Hey, Falcon Punch, my day is fine, dude. How are you? I've been wondering when Slick Six is going to be operational, team in I don't know. Soon? Works over so your day got better. Well, that's good. Here we go, man. One second, dudes. I gotta send a message. Okay. Did you guys hear the keyboard? 
Just out of curiosity, could you hear it? Nope. Oh. Nice. Well, that's fancy. No keyboard. Yeah, I'm communicating with my thoughts. Drummer, you didn't hear the keyboard at all? Cool. I'm brain a LinkedIn or something. Not on my end. Drummer doing some refinement? Refinement? That was actually me. Um, I do have a way nicer mic. I went from zero, not zero. I went from the snowball to like, snowball is an okay mic. It's good enough, right? To a, um, an Audio Technica AT897 shotgun mic. The reason why I went with a shotgun is so the mic isn't in my face for when I'm giving analogies. I don't want to hit the damn thing. And I put on the compressor in OBS. And also my camera's new too, Elgato face cam. Isn't that nice? Yep. You could probably run with speakers if you wanted to. I could, probably. Yeah, I mean, Sneaky, here, listen to the difference. This, the mic is obviously pointed. I'm looking down the barrel of that shotgun microphone. Listen to the difference now. Here, now I'm over here. Now I'm over here, now I'm over here, now I'm over here. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, 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 testicle, what, what? Yeah, isn't that weird? That's really strange, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's like super high quality production, Mike. Why does he keep saying, te I'm saying test, testificate. Ah, 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 ah. You need two to broadcast in stereo? Uh. We could do that. We could do it. <laughs> we could do it. Only thing I noticed was the light and what? <laughs> what? <laughs> As not an audio person, what is a shotgun mic? So Woody, a shotgun microphone is a microphone that picks up stuff directionally. Um, you ever see the you ever see the microphones that like the sound guys are holding? They hold on the very end of a boom, and it's kind of a microphone that's pointed downward. That's a shotgun mic. It's used for as a boom mic. So. Once again, it's only designed to really pick up anything in a cone, right? You, you you talk to it in a cone. Like, if I'm over there, if I'm 90 degrees to the mic, it's not gonna pick me up. You get instantly quiet, quieter. Who is holding it for you? Uh, drummer is, yeah. He's been doing that the whole time. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I gotta send the train out again. He has very steady hands, yep. off. 
There. We use shotgun mics for very directional stuff. I usually only use it to pick up an audience for audience in for musicians in ear monitoring. Yeah. King Kid and I, I was thinking about it, dude, and we could have a regular mic, right? But I... <clears throat> Uh-oh. Yeah, we're, we're, well, we're fixing that. Okay. Um, the reason why I went with this is so I could give explanations without punching the freaking microphone. Because if we had a regular mic with a pop filter, it'd have to be, like, right here. Right? We'd have to be, like, up super close to it. And that would be a big pain in the butt. Right? Because if I was going to, like, give an explanation, like with this banana, for instance. Look at this fine piece of fruit. I wouldn't want to hit the mic constantly and buff it the uh, buff at people's headphones. Yeah, I moved too much for that fish. Yeah, exactly. So, the shotgun mic is the thing that made the most sense. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's a directional microphone. That's that's what makes that's what's per it's perfect for this, dude. Tanner and Drummers. Hey, Tan, what's going on? Do you have plans for Rail Distro? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How much did it sink you? About 300 bucks. A banana is not a fruit. Everyone knows this. It's a unit of measurement. It can be both. Feet and feet are two different things, but there's the, they're the same. Um, so, Tan... Um, Drummer is here till the eclipse, basically. Yeah, dude, the thing is trick, man. Look at here. Look at this thing. I mean, look at this thing. Dude, look what it came. Like, I'm not one for unboxing, but. Like, this is, this is not, yeah, not much getting ready to go to Niagara Falls for the eclipse. Oh, cool, man. That's cool. <clears throat> King, that's what you would have suggested? Cool. Yeah, Sneaky, the box is like top tier, dude. That's some Harry Potter wand box stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You had to cancel your trip to Texas to see the eclipse. Well, I think Texas is going to be in the clouds. I think that probably is the last prop shipment that we're going to need to bring in. Oh. <laughs> uh. Indiana's gonna be packed for the eclipse. One of the few places that a lot of the forecasts are saying will be mostly clear. Cool. Yeah, it's because we just brought that grain in, Pigeon. Don't worry. We'll we'll make it back. See? Already going back up.
Where's NASA launching their sounding rockets from during the eclipse? They're launching sounding rockets during the eclipse? It's gotta be wallops. That's gotta be wallops. Three of them? Dude, that's awesome. <clears throat> What do we got, guys? Do we got some black, uh, some black brand, black brand rockets? Why do we launch sounding rockets during an eclipse? I'm sure there's a scientific purpose. Starliner has a launch date. Boeing are now targeting net Monday, May 6th, for the launch of Starliner's crew flight test. The date adjustment optimizes space station schedule of activities. Hell yeah. Where the heck are my export trucks? Oh, there's one. We're gonna miss a payment. I'm trying not to refinance, guys. I'm trying just to let it let it slide. Let's see what happens. There's another truck exporting food. Watch the border for sketchy going on. Face the wall, please. Dodge. Oh man, that payment just wiped, wiped me out. We're not. Uh, I overspent.
good on money. We're profitable, but I spent too much. This is what I mean about spending. About spending, I, I spent, I spent too much. Uh, I was trying to build. I tried to build too many things at once, and now we got a problem. The warehouse for the shopping center is killing you. I could go into distro for the shopping center and I could set it. We'll set it to 30%. That should take the, uh, ease the pain a little bit. Yeah, no, for real. You don't have a problem. We have a problem. Precisely. Guys, I, I, I have to. We have to refinance. Those overdue payments are, are so bad. I, uh, man. I don't know if I can come back. Oh, it went back to normal. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> Okay, the game ticked it back to normal when I caught up. Holy balls. I, fr I was freaking out there for a second. I'm really happy I didn't, I didn't commit to it, dude. No, King, it's fine. Just let it ride. All I did, all I did was lower the amount that's needed in the warehouse. Lowered the amount in there, and now we don't have to do it for a little while. That's all. We're good. I was freaking out there for a second. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, good. We're, we're not delinquent anymore. Only mildly. <laughs> Only mildly. What happened? You're not blue anymore. I know. Isn't that cool? I got a new camera, new microphone. It's pretty cool, right? You lost drummer? No, drummer's still out. He's still around. He's just chilling in the house. Better equipment, better streams, Papa EJ. But do you have two turntables? I have. I could. I could have two turntables. The audio is a lot cleaner. Where are they? Well, they're at the store. I'd have to buy the two. That said two turntables. A 
I'd love a my streaming setup stream, particularly the audio setup. Um, yeah, dude. If predominant, it's a, um, I'll say it real quick. I'll give you the condensed version. I have an Audio Technica AT, AT897 shotgun mic. Um, AT897 shotgun mic. It's XLR out to a Behringer X1204 mixer. And then the X1204 is um, quarter inch out uh, or uh, six mil. I don't know if you guys call it quarter inch. You might call it quarter inch. Uh, it's quarter inch out in stereo to three five going into the computer. I forgot what you said earlier. Will this help with NSF looking good? Oh yeah, that's the big reason why I did it blackness because next to Das and Jack and Sawyer and everyone, it looks like potato. I look like a potato. So we'll uh, fix it up, get it done right. Get it done right. Fix it up, get it done right. Thanks, yeah, no problem. No problem, Graham Dominant. Well, you were a blue ta blue potato at least, dude. Look, even the chrome chrome chromanana chromana. Now that it's not chroming it anymore, only slightly. But look, see, you can pet your standard banana. Have you pet your banana today? I am a banana. Uh, you sure did, wink, wink. I am not legally obligated to confirm nor deny that. Why would you confirm that? With... Speaking of NSF, we might see Booster 11 testing during NSF Live. I'm not going to be on NSF Live this week, guys. Uh, me and Drummer are going to do stuff. Is there a bus delivering workers to the food factory? There's three, Gaw. Yeah. They're delivering to the bus stop, as intended. And I'm only splitting this up to make make it so we offset our few, our food food costs for the city. Yeah. <laughs> like running. Yeah. Yeah. Felt felt like running. Okay. Growing process is out, dude. Let's uh. Let's see. The combine should start going. There they go. That felt like farm sim. Yeah, it did look like it. That cracked me up a bit. Can you post links here? I, I think so.
We might see it launch before May. Um, if it happens the third week in April, I'm gonna be pissed because I'm going to be gone. I'm not gonna be here. Uh, I will be a little upset. Oh, it will, just because you won't be here, yep. Is that a racetrack? No, but it's supposed to look like one. This logic, train logic loop here, no, not that kind of logic loop. It ended up looking like Phoenix. It looks like a tri-oval, so I put a short track inside of it. How much grain do you have in storage at the moment? 253? First truck is away. The first truck is away. So, King, from what I saw there, uh, at the end of the harvest, if we have more than two grand in here, actually, let's say three, just if we have more than 3,000 tons, we are good to go. 3,000 tons to last us through the winter. Yeah, there's weather talkative, sure. Oh, I'm not exporting grain. Sorry if that was implied. No, 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 I'm not exporting grain. We don't need to do that. I'd rather spend the money and build out the fabric factory and use any extra grain that we were going to get to make fabric and export that instead. Do you have any spare businesses? Explosives and chemicals are the backup. Sorry, I should have explained that better. Yeah, Katra, the one guy somehow got a hold of a personal vehicle and has been using that to commute to the train, to the track builder, and then... Yeah. Eurofeb. Or Euphorev. Huh. Yeah, he loves his trains. I mean, I'm not going to fault the dude. What's your loyalty? 68? We 
we have a one negative 1.6 percent modifier for low government loyalty one extra food per day yes he's been promoted to head of railway planning and planning and development and planning development Time to build a radio. We're working on radio research. Let's see what happens. Yeah, did you see it? It just ticked up when that thing finished. That's weird. It ticked up. Ah. We'll build another one right there. Will you give a speech to your comrades uh, at the inauguration of the monument? Friends! Friends! Workers! Resources! Lend me your ears! Face the wall! That is all. Face the wall now. Hmm. Cuts off ears and gives it to EJ. Oh, well, thank you. I'm, you know, that I'll just add to the skip four now. <clears throat> what? Stop looking at me like that. Face the wall. Can you build a Ferris wheel? You absolutely can. I think that's for tourism, though. Look, you can build nice bumper cars. Very nice. Yeah, new mark, right? Look at this, we have Ferris wheel, happy place. What about non Ferris wheel? Uh, save Ferris. So, fries are done. How we doing? Are we staying on top of the harvest? Looks like it. 
it's okay, sneaky up. Yeah, is that better? Hopefully the nuclear power plant doesn't have graphite tip. So, you know, uh, about that, um, yeah, yeah, here, let's, uh, let's just look at our geological mapping. oil in this valley right here oh Oh, okay. Where else? I'm trying to look at that map up close. Is there any way to make this thing bigger? Oh. That explains that. It's a pretty significant deposit, dude. Dude. That's no joke, and it's not far. about coal there's coal right there there's a giant deposit of coal right here
like a giant deposit of coal. <laughs> I'm sorry for not winning. Oh, jeez. <laughs> kind of funny. Huge deposit right here. There was one there that I already found. There's a pretty good one right there. The oil is worth more. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking this would be a great spot for a power plant. Power plant, maybe a refinery. That's a big enough oil deposit to support it all. Oil my deck. What about Tiberium? It's around. Gonna cry? Stream on YouTube, maybe? Oh, jeez. 95 found the YouTube stream. What's with the YouTube streams? They not funny. They not funny. Did I kill everyone in this? I mean, move everybody into the in this village? Yeah, I did. And then Maladoc over here was our test experiment. We left two people to repopulate. Tuberium. Give it some time, Kitchen. I'm spending. Give it some time, Mr. Fijioto. Maybe pause the game and plan for a bit. I'd rather buy that debt down. Are you below 2.5 yet? Almost, almost. Look at that, plus 65, dude. We have met our payments for the for August. Good. actually coming along good it's just a matter of time dudes one thing i've got before i got to go minimum loyalty for educators in schools is very important as children can't be propagandized there 60 percent government loyalty look at that actually nobody really changed Advertising in Soviet country. Oh, is that because we uh, complete the... Uh, wait. wait. Tourism? Wait, where's that tree? Where's the advertising in Soviet countries tree? Advertise. Very nice. Your teacher loyalty is set below the current average. Yeah. Well, now it's set above, so 
Hopefully that changes over time. Probably would have been better to set that from the start. My bad. The technical university, though, I'm not sure. I'd rather have them cranking out research. I'm not... You guys can... They can stay indifferent. In the meantime, we will build lots of... Ah! Say it with me, chat. Rolling stars! Use all seven eyes next time. Okay. Ah. What's crime telling us? Crime is minus 1.5%. What? 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 Uh... What get is, uh, she cracking? What's that? What game is that? You, 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 people is not happy with you. Now those roads are placed. Seventy two. Okay. Right. The mood is getting dangerously low. Why? All right, set that to that. We'll see what happens. Slowly expand. Ah! Oh, has loyalty gone up? It went to 31%. Watching your stream with Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd is very perfect. Oh. Okay. I've played Stellaris before, Louis, when you were uh, when you were disposed. You know what I'm talking about? Deposed. Disposed. I've played it before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've we've played that, dude. You know. Stars would be right up your jam. So if you know, why did... Okay. 
Another brick in red wall. But bricks are red, just saying. Yeah, when I was not here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but you're good now, dude, so that's all that matters. That's just future planning. But it's a solid game, yeah, absolutely. Guys, I'll, uh, I'll be right back one second. I have to go take a piss again. How much is grain selling for? Oh, uh, 33, 33 and 28. We could buy for dollars, sell for rubles, make some cash, but we'd need to arbitrage something back. Arbitrage. All right, I'll be right back one second, okay? Have to go use the restroom again.
Okay. All right. Okay, we ready? How we doing? We got crops. Oh yeah. Good. That's not good. The custom houses are absolute trash. What's your yearly export? I'm at 960K. That's around 2.5 million. You're at $960,000. Uh, I can check my export for all the uh, export for last year. 864 is where I'm at. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, as cast, that'd be cool. <laughs> What is with the food exports? Uh, I started exporting a little bit of food. That's one truckload going out, Kling Bang. That's why I exported just a little bit of food and it pinged up there for one month. Before That was before I switched it to NATO. So check this out. If we look at last year, right where that hump stops, that one begins. See? So if I pin this, the one at Warsaw Pact would go up right here and then that. About Katra, yeah, give or take. Look at trucks. Oh boy, you gotta repair them. I don't know why this repair depot is not doing anything, but hey, whatever. Research program is finished. We can radio now, chat. Right. John. Um, waiter, there's an EJ in my YouTube. Oh, boy. 
What should we export next? Uh, the next thing we should do is get labor up. Get more labor. We need more workers so we can turn the food factory up to maximum. Breaker 2-9, Breaker 2-9 over, Cliff. Is that call to action, Louie? I, uh, I've been told about that game. Yeah. Call to arms, yeah, that game. Drummer was telling me about that. Turbo. Oh. Where should I build the radio? I don't know. Where does it go? Like I don't even know where I don't even know where the radio is. Oh, we need radio signal broadcasting. Yeah, we got a little bit of a... We had to build up pressure, that's all. The sneezes don't come through like they used to. Your mic cut the sneeze. Sorry, what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you want? That's just, that's just the way... That's just the way she goes, bud. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard things about that. Louis Drummer was telling me about him. Guys, I think the next thing that we're gonna need to invest in is car centric. We gotta build out. We gotta build out the. Um, we gotta build out the parking lots and everything. What do you do about your crime prisoners? Nothing until your city gets above five thousand, Phil. Just more buses first? Remember, car centric has wintertime issues. Well, I'm not getting rid of the buses, Gaw. But yes, I understand. The other thing that we could do is a tram. Rams are so good, it's not even funny, but the setup is pretty intense. Well, you're gonna need a tram depot, right? A 
Hey, cats. Metro would be cool. Yeah, but I think we should start with just trains. Crap out here. I've not seen anybody use the Metro. I don't think we need to. I think car centric would be good for this, guys. I'm telling you. But I'm going to get rid of that so we can run the right away for the tram if we need to. I'm telling you. I think car centric is good for this type of population. The only thing I'm worried about is the snow. What would you say the best export is for me right now? Probably alcohol. Yeah, exactly, Whack. Yeah, you got it. Four seventy one. Present the 20 kilometer diameter fairing. Uh, what? Why? Why would you? Why not? Yeah, that, all right. We got launches tonight? Nah, nothing on the horizon. Uh, next stuff is really slated for Friday morning and Friday evening. Friday evening, I can't do. Starling Gate 1. 647 is scheduled for the 5th. Uh, and then there's Bandwagon 1. I'm not sure what that's about. That's on Sunday. Next Sunday at 7. I'm probably... Probably not gonna be able to get that one either. I have to balance, I'm trying to balance between, you know, working and showing drummer uh, all this cool stuff around here.
Y'all getting smacked with the weather like the Bible Belt is. Actually, guys, it's raining. I don't know if you guys probably can't hear it. It's raining. We're going to get... I'm going to get a bit of that storm. Whether it's going to be rain or snow. I don't know. Do you own Gates of Hell Ostfront? Uh, I don't have call to arms, no. But for nostalgia reasons... Rain train! It's sunny and 70 now. They were announcing rain all systems? Okay. Don't worry about it, Louie. It's better if I buy it anyway, dude. It's a write-off. No Friday night launch coverage? What am I supposed to do now? Uh, go to the bar? No. You're in a tornado watch right now and a warning just south of you. Project 7 2020. Fancy seeing you here. Hey, Pi. The shop here on Twitch but smoother there. Cool. Project 7, how are you? Thank you for the raid. Hello, comrades. What's up, man? Oh, Mother, I hope you're alright. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Put the cookie down. Thanks for the raid, dude. I do appreciate it. I'm just doing my thing in workers. How much is left on the loan? About 2.5 mil. Hey, 2.4. Nice. That's really why we're not gaining a lot of money. See, Kraken, like why we've been hovering around 15 to 20 Gs for a little while because yeah without the loan right now dude we'd be making 50 a month instead of like maybe three <laughs> how's your republic doing project it's doing all right man how about you i uh i had a nasty problem where i went early game crops to try and export crops in bulk with a train and both my grain silos burnt down so i've uh been trying to claw my way out of debt to fix that problem for a good while now. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we're, I just got it cash flow positive today. We're doing chemical exports, explosive exports, alcohol, and food right now. That's it. I have clothing teed up here for when we're ready to deploy. Uh, and I have to, we, what we need, we need up. more labor to do that. I got one silo for the price of three. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, how about you? How's yours going? Hey, Shaw, what's going on? Explosive exports? How did you do in racing the other day? You did good, man. Pretty good. Him in sprunk, sprunk pants did just fine. Is it normal for most of you enduring this on a yearly basis? What the weather, Louis? Yeah, it's fine. You started a new republic today and are only in 62. But first people are there and tomorrow the industry will go up. Cool. I'm better than your grain silos, damn. Dumb question. I saw a cross post stating that HLS Lanzer was canceled via Congress. Is that truth or nah? What was yesterday's date, Sawyer? No, it's not, it's not true at all. That was an April Fool's joke. Pretty damn good one. Fooled a lot of people. Fooled a lot of people. Yeah, that David Willis posted that. It was a 
very good craft post, if I do say so myself. I was about to throw hands. Yeah, that's fair. Did I read your message about what happened in your area during April Fools? Should probably start building the other chemical plant. No, I got it. I got it. Uh, I didn't, dude. What did you say? Oh, it was a while ago. No, I must have missed it, dude. Not good enough. It didn't fool Burger Man. Uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? I didn't see it though. See Kraken. There was this one about a new thing where you drag a sound file into a 3D printer slicer and it generates a vinyl you can print to play it. It was a joke, but it was super high quality printer. But with a super high quality printer, it'd be sick to try. Can you imagine press vinyl, dude? Out of a 3D printer? That would be, uh, that'd be impressive. A bunch of th students thought it was funny to say they found a firearm at a bunch of schools in your area and then everyone went into code red lockdown. Oh. New album, Printer Noise. Oh, that's... I'm not gonna lie to you, 15 year old EJ finds that hilarious. 35-year-old EJ finds that not hilarious at all. That's really messed up. Oh, that's that's not smart, man. That's not that's not a that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea at all. Oh. Oh. Imagine if winners in this game could knock out power lines, please. Just, that would be awful. That's, I, yeah. Did you see your message yesterday? You got a four by three plasma table. I didn't doom, but now I'm super jelly. Uh, that's awesome. I got a welder. I got a, uh, Lincoln 185, I think. It's pretty good, dude. I have yet to take it for a spin. I've been super busy, but yeah, that's awesome, dude. I'm jelly of the cutting table. That's sick. Dude, if I, yeah, if I had a cutting table like that, oh man. If I had a cutting table like that, I learned to weld. I can make whatever I want. Nicer than your welder? That's cool, man. Very cool. I just looked at a special weather advisory for my area. Warning of that with almost like two foot of snow in the next day or two. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. King, I'm going to get some of that storm. But it's going to be rain by the time it comes to, comes to me. Please, comrade, how goes the planned spaghetti economy? Spaghetti is going just fine. It would sit in the corner and you would only show it on garage cam once in a while, Kappa. Wow. You've said some jackass things in this stream before, but that was pretty high. That one was pretty high up there. You jackass. 
Arc Droid CNC. I've seen this before. Yeah, that little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cardboard aided design. Yep. Is Hellfish wrong? Yeah, he is. He's wrong, Mutter, and he's an asshole. <laughs> Hi, praise. I'm gonna time myself out for a second. Okay. What model Lincoln was it again? It's a uh, 185. 185? Classy, don't you dare classy me. I looked at the art tread but wanted a large cut area so I could get full with sheets. Sure, for sure, sure. Hey, Genesis, what's going on? Uh, you should have had Drummer time you out in real life. Drummer wishes he could time me out in real life. Hi, guy, he was in here crap posting sitting right next to me. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, you know, I can knock you out like right now. Like, you're right there, and I can just, just, bah, caught him with the front, you know? Like, Charlie Murphy! Ah! <laughs> you know? When do I get to crap post next to you? You are not invited. Damn. <laughs> that would be great for channel growth. You are not invited. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, maybe. Throw drummer in the harbor with the T. I kinda wanna. But if you ever seen Robocop, like you know in Robocop with like in Robocop 2 when the like that that chemical waste like splashes over the guy and then he's like Ugh. Yeah, like I don't think that's fun for anyone. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I need a drummer school, I need him to cut videos and stuff. You know, he could just go and turn off the breaker to the garage. Yeah, and I can turn off his ability to see by knocking him out. I could shut off his eye socket circuit, eye circuit break sock, mark one eyeball. We get a cage fight between you and Drummer? That's not fair. We, we aren't even in the same weight class, dude. Do you know one of the crates from the Boston Tea Party is in a museum? Cool. Where did the economy go wrong? You're broke. I'm actually making money, Genesis. Yeah, we're actually cash flow positive, dude. Look, I'm buying down that debt. It was at 2.9 to start the day. Now it's at 2.4. We're actually doing good. You want to know what I'd do if I didn't have an army? I would shut the frick up. Shut the frick up. You think I'm going to take orders from you, from a lead mon? You might, you might learn how, you might know how to code, but you're gonna need that when you in Times Square selling fake hats. I know Gucci when I see it, man. I'm rich. <laughs> I actually got a two liter Fanta because of you and because they were out of high C. Uh, we should Don't worry, you got a two liter of Dick Dictor Pepper. Oh, all right. Oh That's cool. What is the primary product here? Vega, what, what, what do you mean, Doom? What are you talking about? This, dude, this, have, dude, have you not seen workers? Oh, ho, 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 bro.
This game is hardcore, dude. It is a communist city builder. You know. Uh, yeah, and it's really, really, really hard to not have bread lines in this game. I don't quite understand what you sort of told me before. This is the most granular city builder I've ever played, dude. It is more difficult than SimCity 4 to get anything right in this game. Yeah, more difficult. No RCI indicators. You don't know what your people need. You have to kind of... It's going to indicate here stuff here and there, but you got to read. you got to look at the numbers. Like Factorio? This game is Factorio, Transport Fever, and Cities rolled into one. Yep. Especially if you turn all the difficulty settings to maximum. This, there's a reason why I like this game so much. It is fantastic. This game makes Cities 2 look like Cities 1 made SimCity 5 look. Does that make sense? This is the, like I said, this is the best city builder I've ever played. Ever. Ever. By a long shot. So, like... Okay, do remember, this is a this is a commie city builder, but check this out. You have markets. You gotta watch the market. You gotta watch unit prices on stuff. What you should and shouldn't export, etc., etc. Uh, like, there's a whole market, there's a whole resource system. Check this out. Double currency, because it's during the Cold War, right? You have NATO, you have Warsaw Pact. You could trade on the dollar, or you could trade on the ruble. And check this out. You can buy stuff from each one. The stuff that you buy is real vehicles, Mack trucks. So Mark, Mark is Mack. Mars is Mercedes Benz. FI is Fiat. MM is GM. So that's a GM new look, right? From Speed. Like Keanu Reeves Speed, like that movie. You can buy all American equipment if you really want to. And it doesn't just end there, dude. Check this out. Sky cranes. You can buy you can buy hips, you can buy mil sixes, you can buy MI4s, you can buy MI2s, you can buy MI10s. All the vehicles in this game are real. Can you buy an MI5? No, there's no such thing. Hi Brimo. How was your class? Primo's going to night school. No, oh, Primo's going to theater camp for adults. That's what Primo's doing. Why didn't you improv with me? They didn't want to lie to chat. It makes it sound like I'm going to a university or something. She's going to improv class, so I just tried to improv with her and she immediately ruined it. Like, immediately ruined it. Okay, but like... <laughs> Like, immediately. If I don't know you're trying to improv with me, how, like, how am I supposed to know? We are not in an improv situation. We are in a, in a... You guys hear that? Not in an improv situation. That's rich. All right. How? I, I don't understand. What? She's going to class. All right. That makes sense. Fine. <laughs> how you doing, baby? How are you? Good. Love you. What do you think? Did you get that? Did I get that dialed in? It's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's great. All right, sweet. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> yeah. How do you get wrench? Oh, pie, you need a wrench. Yeah, see, I got the YouTube chat over there. You got wrench. You have a wrench, by guy. I thought you were gonna give him the USB. We're we're broadcasting to a whole 17 viewers over there. Listen, that's a very important set of viewers. Good broadcast. You want to sit down? What's your plan for tonight? Um, I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. I need a shower. And I was thinking I might go read or something. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, that looks like outside. Oh, can Chad hear the rain? Nope. They, yeah, they don't, they never heard nothing. But how many of you are on both, Greg? I don't know. 17, I bet. 17 of you. <laughs> and my mom. <laughs> I got, yeah, I streamed like one viewer. It's my mom, whatever. <laughs> 
mailbox art. I don't know if we can have mailbox art. But that sounds cool. Oh, we have a total of two chat rates. Oh! Two. Oh! What else is he streaming on? Your mother. Weird thing to stream. Straight couples can be cute too, huh? Who knew? Eh. I know. Um. We sell it good. We do. No. Um, pizza's done. Where? Where's the pizza? Oh, I was also coming to tell you my car yelled about their tires again. Okay. I'll um, fill it up. No problem. Yeah. And the gas, but that's a good one. Yeah, we've driven. We've driven yeah. a lot. Make that 18! Hell yeah! 18 nice. viewers, dog! <laughs> Hi, weather guy! No, there are two of them! Yeah, so we got. See, the, I figure it on each side, flanked on each side of the monitor, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not a bad thing to do. No, you're right. That's a good way to do that. Yeah. I don't like the pop out, the double pop out chat capture. We're gonna have to find another solution there because it'll it'll show like who's timed and like, you know, if there's suspicious users, I don't want that popping up. Who cares? It shows mod view. What do you mean? Who cares? We'll find another solution. I'm not saying I'm no. Don't okay. don't get confused. People... I'm not saying I'm not doing it. I'm not saying I'm not doing it. Just saying we gotta find another way to do it. That's I'm. Just saying that if those people didn't want to show up as suspicious users, they shouldn't have acted suspiciously. We'll talk more about this later. <laughs> Am I suspicious? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> no, I give what you mean. I'm just kidding. Say that again out loud, please. I get what you mean. Doesn't mean I agree with it, but it means I get it. Look at that! We got we got four more viewers. One, two, three, four. Beep. Hello, suspicious user. Please face wall. Please face the wall. Uh, chat. I've been trying to get. I was telling EJ about the game Italics is playing. Uh, it's not Company of Heroes. What was it? Call to Arms. Call to Arms, and then he needs to play it. How does Chat feel about Call to Arms? Somebody asked if it's weird to kiss a guy with a beard and if it's scratchy. I mean, yeah, but I love him. It's a good scratch. She can always, like, aim up here. Yeah. But it's not, you know? Like, yeah. you can do either one. You kind of aim. Nah, that's itchy. That's not itchy. See? I turned Kerbin into a table saw. Yes, play CTA. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Your accountant would like you know would like to know of your current fiscal situation. <laughs> How's that, Ollie? Oh, my name is Jeff. My name. My name, my name is Jeff. 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 My name is Jeff Raid. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. My back hurts when I swear. Okay. But I like it. Yeah. I'm tired. You're tired? I want to read book. Let me educate you. And I ain't talking book. And I ain't talking book. Book. I can't believe I'm this much whiter than you. Hey, it's because you don't, you know, you're not, uh, you know, you're not a, yeah. you're not a gobble ghoul, yeah. you understand? Yeah, it's the, it's the Polak in me. You're, hey, whoa, whoa, that was very insensitive. You should not say that. There are people from Poland that watch this stream. That was very insensitive of you. I forget Polak is a slur. Because you just said it again. <laughs> well... I don't care, like... <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Stella! Stella! <laughs> That's awesome. 
Oh, man. It's not in my head. It's not. Like, I don't understand. Jeff, thank you for the raid, dude. What were you playing? River discovered her last name means cabbage. Oh gosh, <laughs> you're playing War Thunder. Oh uh, yeah, man. What were, what were you flying around in, or driving around in, or tanking around? What were you doing in War Thunder? I understand it's a slur. I grew up in a Polish city, but because of that, it all. My mom used to call me that when I dressed funny. Like, am I just digging the hole? Do I need to like get? Am I just digging it deeper? I'm Polish, okay? I have punchkeys. I did Polish things. I know what Grzczykis are. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> you mainly play with tanks in War Thunder, a little bit of everything. Nice. You dropped 19 kills. Hey, look at you. They go hold, they go hold, they go hold. It's full of Portuguese here? Ah. I want okay. you to know I did my walkies today. What? I did my walkies today. You did your walkie talkies today? I breaker did. breaker one niner? I did. Cool. I did. All systems got home by the way. Oh cool. Good. I gotta get off your knees. Okay. Um so yeah, I was real proud of myself because I really did not want to do it until boop, 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 boop. Good for you. Yeah. Oh. Get the whole two mamas. If Primo is part Polish, that means she's part Texan as Poland is a slave with Texas as the EU. I don't think that's how that works, but. Daughters. Dig a hole, then face the wall, yes. My point is, I'm proud to be a Polak, so. You keep saying that word. Okay. I don't understand. What, like, I don't know. I don't know the history of it, so it's not offensive to me. I guess that makes sense. Now that I've dug the hole very deep, I'm going to go home to drummer so you can chastise me. Oh, nice, Christian. That's a great joke. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, whoa. Why don't you fly around in your Italian helicopter, you know, far away from me? One of the things that improv tonight was you had to act like an Italian chicken. Fuck, 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 fuck. An Italian chicken? Yeah. <laughs> fuck. What the frick is an Italian chicken? Fuck, fuck. That's not how an Italian chicken goes. How does an Italian chicken go? Oh! Fuck, fuck! Oh! Hey! Fuck, 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 fuck! What are you doing? Fuck, fuck! <laughs> oh! I'm crossing the road here! Hey! It's a joke! It's funny! I'm crossing the freaking road! Look at me! I'm a chicken! I'm crossing the road! Oh! Hey, I'm barking here! <laughs> hey. Fuck! We've offended all of Twitch. <laughs> que cosa? Fuck! Hey, tu sei un pazzo, vai via da qui! <laughs> what did you say? Who are you? What are you doing? Okay. Que cosa? Que cosa? Voremo Fajari the Yeti. Voremo Fajari the Yeti. What? Voremo Fajari the Yeti. Gorlami. I've been practicing. I still want to do, whenever I try to switch to other language mode, I go directly to German. Uh, 
Ein Bier bitte? <lacht> bitte? Non Polo Italiano Bueno. Si. <lacht> si. Io Polo Italiano Bad. <lacht> Dove el Coliseumo. <laughs> Mamma mia. Mamma mia. See, Chet, this is why Duolingo isn't good, because if you, like, I'm like six months into Duolingo, but I remember absolutely nothing of what it's taught me. So. The Polish woman who speaks German, big thonk. Because the other half of my family was German. Uh, perfetto. Coincolina. Uh. 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 Un. Here. Una sta stanza strano. Stanza strano. Stanza strano. Okay. Strange room. Strange what? Room. Questo stanza strano. Questo è stanza strano. Questa è stanza strano. Ugh, maron. Questa stanza è sta strana. Yeah. See? See. Okay. But stanza has a Z. Pomodoro. Un pizza con salami un 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 pizza con salami e formaggio. You want salami on your pizza? Salami is pepperoni according to the bird. Questa è un stanza strano. Grazie, Chet. Grazie. <laughs> I'm gonna do great, Chet. Ecco il mio passaporto. Ecco il mio passaporto. Ecco il mio passaporto. Why are you trying to sound? Why you sound like that? Just say it. What do you mean? What do, what do I sound? You're trying to you're trying to sound Italian when you say it. It's weird. <laughs> it's just, did you guys hear that? <laughs> ecco il mio passaporto. Ecco il mio passaporto. Ecco il mio passaporto. Si. Okay. Uh, Bene. Bene. Uh, dove el treno? Dove le hotel? Dove? <laughs> dove il treno? No, dove dove il treno? Dove il treno? Dove il treno? Okay, good enough. Fine. Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> En mi pantalones, amigo. <laughs> Ven conmigo a mi pantalones. No. Si. Io cerco le calasimo. Io cerco una stanza. Io cerco pizza. Un pezzo de pizza. <laughs> Damn, son. How's the harvest doing? No, no. Pronta il muro, por favor. 
Rigatoni! <laughs> Weather guy, how good is it? Uh, Let's see. I grew up listening to that. Does that help? Echo i nostri documenti, signore. You want to see my documents? You want to see my passport? Here are our passports, sir. Oh. Echo i nostri documento, documenti, signore. Echo i, nos echo i nostri documenti, signore. Benvenuti in Italia. Grazie. Ecco i nostri passaporti. Welcome to Italy. Thank you. Here are our papers. Yes. Huh? A yeti. You want? You want a yeti? Buongiorno. Ecco i biglietti. Biglietti. Oh, okay. Different. Buongiorno. Gorlami. Bietti are tickets. Loro sono indiani in non parlano bene italiano. Io sono americano e non parlano italiano. Sono americano e non parlano italiano. <laughs> Jesus woman. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are his tickets. No. <laughs> no. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> Lui parlano, parlo, parla italiano, ma loro parlano inglese. Here are his documents. Questo è il mio visto. I don't know why it's funny, dude. These maybe, are his documents. If you better go to England instead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I proposed that. She said no. Sono i sui documenti. Sono i sui documenti. Why are you doing that with your hand? I don't know. Sono i sui documenti. Sono i sui documenti. Yeah, good enough. Okay. Uh, tickets, do you want to see my passport? Yeah. He's doing it because you did it. Yeah, but it's genetic, all right? It's that, that's appropriation, okay? I miei sono indiani e non parlo italiano. Say it one more time. I miei sono indiani e non parlo italiano. Sure. Something about not speaking Italian. I visited Rome. Easy to get by with speaking English. Google Translate if you're really in a pinch. Yeah. Oh yeah, I am fully aware that I'm gonna learn all this and not use it, but it'll make me feel better. I, I will. Don't come to the UK. It's crap at the moment with crime through the through the roof and. and uh, all right. He is Indian and his parents have a visa. Louis A. Indiana. Indiano. Indiano. Oh, nice. A. E. 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 Sui genitori hanno un visto. Hanno un visto. Hanno un visto. I'm sorry, that's funny to me. What? I don't know. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey, we're making money, by the way. 
You know, pronunciation wasn't my strong suit in German either. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to London, Ollie. If we're if we were gonna go, we'd go to go. I don't know somewhere See, else. See, if you try a few sentences, the locals really appreciate it. That's the goal. To not look like too dumb of an American. Yeah, but I, 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 I got this. We're good. You got this. See. You're all. I don't speak Italian. I don't. So what are you gonna do? Speak Italian. You don't speak Italian. How are you gonna speak Italian? How do you know? This is a logical fallacy. What do you mean a logical fallacy? How do you know? You never heard me speak Italian. Because you said you don't speak Italian. Well, maybe I lied. Why would you lie about that? Uh, That's a dumb thing to lie about. And no say. Do you speak Italian? No. <laughs> no, but I know Italian. No. no. I'm surprised your high school didn't have it, to be honest. Now that, or did you just not take it? Espanol. Yeah. Non parlano italiano. So, the reason why... Uh, so, here's the thing, guys. I, Italian was spoken in the household. I never learned it. Parents never taught it to me. Thought it probably probably wouldn't be useful too much uh, but I I've heard it spoken for a good amount of my life my grandmother was fluent she was off the boat and now you have fluent cousins too yep so you're not totally I've heard it I just heard it spoken I know how to speak it I just don't know how to speak it but yeah. I know how to but I've heard it yeah yeah our glue that's that's why my pronunciation is good because I Grew up in that household, man. Grandmother was, like I said, off the boat. She came over a, she got off a, she came over on a boat in like 1940. Yeah. Get rid of, to get away from Mr. Chin or no, Mr. Lamp Post. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Lamp Post. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand it, Gaw. Sure, absolutely. If someone speaks it to me, I can understand it. If someone speaks Spanish to me, I can understand that too, and even a little bit of French. My French is pretty bad though. Personal experience, foreign acclimation to U.S. customs is absolutely a thing for immigrant families. So many would forgo their native language for America to fit in. Yeah, my my parents said we only need to learn two languages, English and bad English. And then one to look good on a college resume, so uh, Espanol. Yeah, see. Sí. Don't like that guy. Good thing he's not around no more. Yep, yep. Ich, ich, uh, kenne Deutsch und, uh... Ich spreche Deutsch. Ich spreche Deutsch. Si. Uh, ja. Ich weiß Deutsch. Ich lerne Deutsch. Ja. Und uh, nicht spreche Deutsch. Und vergess. It's not forget. Was? Und ich spreche Deutsch bitte. Nicht gut Deutsch sprechen. But I don't know Deutsch. I. good. I learn Deutsch in school and ja. university. Ja. But I don't need No. That's not the right word there, but. You, you were trying to say you learned it in school and you learned it in college, but I don't speak it much anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aber See? in uh, Italian, Deutsch is is uh, Tedesco. Very interesting. What's interesting? It's called Tedesco in Italian. German is Tedesco. And I'm all, like, I would really want to learn the etymology of that word. Oh, flaming word. Yeah. Sono Tedesco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How long do we get to Ubby Dubby? I don't know. We're already in Boston. We're at the home of Ubby Dubby. Kannst back in Deutsch. Ein bisschen, aber nicht in ein lang Seite. Yeah. 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 So, it's the same thing with German, 
because one of my best friends growing up uh, in elementary school and into middle school was off the boat German and his parents had moved here and he was bilingual so whenever I'd go over to his house I would hear his parents speak German his yeah. parents would only speak German in the household so that was that was fun so it, it's the same with German I can do that with German too which is pretty cool Wann ich uh, möchte Italianisch sprechen ich denke auf Deutsch it's pretty dank uh. <laughs> es ist nicht gut. Ich spreche uh, Sonne und Bitte. <laughs> Wo ist der Kalisium? Ich spreche. <laughs> Achtung, lieber erwischt. <laughs> Ja, ja, ja. Wenn ich Italienisch sprechen möchte, ich spreche Deutsch. I thought this was an English-speaking stream, not gonna lie. Uh, I have something similar with Urdu, to a much lesser effect. Urdu? What's Urdu? I'm German and it's understandable. Ah, wunderbar. Wunderbar, ja. What's in a total waste of time? Ist gut? Ist gut? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Which was an older world to refer to the Jew. Oh. Interesting. Best friend in high school, his family is from Pakistan. Oh, word. I don't even I didn't even know what Urdu was. I don't know where that was from. Anyway. Yeah. Guys, we're making cash. Woo! What are we at? 2.4. Let's buy it down, baby. All right. All right, I'll feed the same. Toy line, I'll feed the same. Sono aus den Stanza. Okay. Arrivederci. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Zwei kleine Italiener. Was? Was ist das? Already, you speak a mixture of English and German at your house. It'll be English sentences with German words. It confuses guests and it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was on the tail end of that, dude. I was on the receiving end of that. So it was either learn or you're gonna be really lost really quick. Like that made that made dinner over at my buddy's house when I was a kid really like hard. That was difficult. It was very difficult. Ich bin ein Mann? Was? Yeah, okay. So? German spotted. <laughs> Hello, mein Freund. Big, big eight. <laughs> Uh, you learn Romanian and Vietnamese. Wow. Oh, that's a that's a combination, man. Food, damn. That was horrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, and it was learn. Thought you were going to do interesting things with channel points. Okay. Arg blue ad time. Oh, thanks for reminding them, Doom. I appreciate it. I rolled a one, but you rolled a one. I rolled double ones. Oh, roll it again! 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 Yes! Yes! I am the master of the mechanical... Stop! Oh, yes! That was awesome! 
But Naki, he, 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 he's like, what the hell is that second sentence? I do not know what I just saw. You roll for ads, Doom. That's the that's the hook. Somebody retrieves ad time, you gotta roll for it. Mods roll for it in chat. I roll, roll d20. Okay, if I win, no ads. If chat wins, we roll ads. Both players trip while we're loading and firing their we weapons. Was just that much faster with the recovery. Yep, yep, yep. What percentage of viewers are subbed? I don't know, dude. I don't follow that information. I'm sure it's out there. Alright, let's get back to this, dude. I've been just waiting us waiting for us to break the break the death cycle so we can actually expand. Are we full up on labor? We have to expand more. We have to add another 500 people to the city if we want this to expand correctly. But also, if we really want to do this right, we need car-centric. So I'm going to tell them to start building out the parking lots, or the, at least the roads to the parking lots around here. Uh, we're going to need those. Start building that, start building that, and then we need labor. How many gas stations do you have? Uh, they're around, dude. Um, like six or seven, something like that. Had a couple of high-speed buses in the meantime. The GM buses are fine, dude. They're the second fastest bus in the game, but can hold the most amount of people. I don't know why you insist on the bus that doesn't carry as much people that's a little bit faster. What, why? I don't, I don't understand. Why would we do that? They have Bluebird buses. We have GM New Look buses, and that's it. That's the only American bus we have. Uh, it's the bus from Speed. Dude. Uh, Speed One, of course. See? Hey, look at Dana, what's going on? I was thinking more of the higher speed buses for the longest routes. Dude, some transit authorities were using that almost into the 90s. Yeah, it's a great bus, Kaiser. Really great design. Yeah, 
do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you do more buses? Because there's always people waiting at the bus stop and the factories are not full. Why would you or why wouldn't you? Quite good. Good. Not good. <coughs> Why wouldn't you do more? Uh, I want to move to car centric. Building out parking lots for a reason, dude. I don't think the Mars 305 carries more people, dude, to be honest with you. Pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, shoot, it does. Man, frick that bus. I don't want that thing. Screw that bus. I have decided right now, I hate it. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to deal with that. That intersection have proper signs. Yeah. Oh, that the bus station didn't. Uh, uh. Are we still cash positive? Yep. Yeah, we're very cash positive. Time to start using the other fields. We're gonna end up using all of that creation, yeah. How oh, the crop yields, 3,100. Pretty damn good. If whatever the hell happened here doesn't happen again, it's the gas stations. Um, if I make like a more dedicated fueling area, um, yeah. Wouldn't have to worry about this. This is cramping my exports because all the trucks that are going to export stuff are getting stuck in it. But yeah, we're we are making money. Yep, two point three. We're buying it down, dudes. Bring it down. Welcome to Logistic Health Overish. Spasiba. Uh, liver, Anthony Orsho. I don't want this. Welcome to Logistic Hell. 
Is it always snowing or is there a short summer? It snows from November to February, Doom. In game. And the snow, you gotta plow the roads or else the snow slows you down. Yeah, we gotta upgrade to a normal gas station. Um, I'll probably end up putting it right here. Let's see if we can fit it. SBMTs are getting the counterweights out for booster 11 roll. Cool. between the two roads where the current station is why If you're doing drive through. Oh. Wouldn't it be a bad idea to let them refuel at an already busy intersection? Well, over here is better than right there, Simon. I mean, where else? Joke's on you, you're watching on YouTube, no ads here ever. Mm. Nice film. Dude, I don't... It says there's nothing to repair, yet there's two broken down vehicles right next to it. I don't... I don't really understand the game mechanic behind having to... Uh, ha less than a year has passed since the last repair. I, I don't, I don't really understand what what they were intending to do with that. Only four workers there. Yeah, yeah. So. Workers are the constriction point. Uh, well, we'll set it to maximum and go from there. When are we gonna make the car and sell the car dealer? Uh, I gotta get ahead of a couple things, Sneaky, but. Gotta get ahead of a couple things, like really gotta buy this down more. Just at least wanna get us to <clears throat> tonight I wanna get us to the point where we're below two two million and then refinance. 
but I I'm building for cars as we as we get further in. Yeah, maybe plate. Making your own vehicles a priority. Yeah. I mutter. How's the debt? Uh, we've bought down about a million. Jeff? I think my debt peaked at 3.2. Now we're at 2.3. Paying it back slowly. There's already a fuel station in town, dude. Not we can get rid of that one. Do you have any people you can rent out to foreign work sites? I don't think you can export labor. Elfish, I'm pretty sure you can't. Uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know. The other thing is that with the geo mapping, we found that there's a gigantic oil supply right here. If I build up more capital, we'll go and we'll, we will make magic a whole lot of magic they're still pulling rain Become a gas station. Ornato, yes. Very good. So, like, we're hovering around here, right? Like, 38, 38, 5. We're hovering around there because uh, most of the money, I mean, we're plus 89. We're plus 89, 41,000 profit. Most of that just went to the loan. So, we're just kind of. Hovering here, playing catch up. Hey, Ismic. Better Tuesday than last week? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Can you basically just be a NATO loving republic and pay no attention to the Warsaw Pact? Sure. Yeah. Of course. I like ketchup. Yeah, dude. I All systems brought me ketchup flavored chips. Tried those. Those are pretty. Uh, Pretty interesting. A little bit of a different taste. Be dig about it, but if your workplace be because workplaces become full of employees all the time, your room income goes up by a good percentage. Yeah, I, Feng Ming, I, I'm agreeing with you. I've agreed with you the entire through your entire spiel. I don't understand. What what are you being a dick about? I'm conf I'm very confused. Why do you think I'm building out more labor? I, I, I don't. No, no, no need to apologize. What? Getting more buses. Oh, okay. Finally finished moving. Got your computer set set up back. Going to start playing this weekend. What are some tips for starting? Be very, very sure about what you're doing, wizard. It's better to spend money earlier because of inflation. Honestly, if I started another save right now, I would take out a loan right away. 
debt is a hedge against inflation. So the more you can build in the first decade of the game, the better. Because the, the prices are going to inflate. I'm being a dig about getting more buses. You can sell them when you can be sure about cars. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. When's the no loan run? Oh, man. Yes. Can we please buy one Mars 305? Fine. I'll buy... Wait, well, I can only afford one. <laughs> There's a 3D mod for SimCity 4. Wow. Car factories are a thing, yes. There you go. I have one Mars 305 on the line.
Yeah, yeah, I know. It's Doing it during the harvest was a stupid idea. You moved the gas station. Yeah. I I did. I did. I I've already moved it. It's just under construction. You even need snow plows? Yep, you gotta plow the roads or else the cars don't go fast. Yeah, talkative. This game's hardcore, dude. I'm telling you, I love it. It's a really fun time. Oh, sick, you're just full of solutions, huh? Yeah, Ziffus, yep, yep. Got an idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a road from the farm entrance all the way over here. The reason why is I've noticed another problem. The other problem here is that, look, if we're going car centric and we flood this with cars during a harvest, all those trucks are gonna be coming around here and all those trucks are gonna be coming around here and all those trucks are gonna be trying to get into that grain silo. That's sucks, that sucks. Actually, you know what? It might be better. It might be better to demolish that one. To, you know, the demolished grain silo. Right? So, what we could do... Yeah. 
Yeah, we can obviously go around there. I'll leave that one just in case. Just in case I ever need that one back and we, you know, abolish, we get rid of this one. Because we're not going to be exporting crops anymore, right? So, it's better to get rid of that guy. Get rid of that one. Oop, wrong button. Get rid of that one right there. Assign the demo offices. Get the demo offices ready. And then we'll just run the road. We'll run a new road. Yeah, that'll work. Get one mod called Forklift Road Crossing. Um, can you set roads for trucks only? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also a good way to lose another silo. Fire trucks wouldn't be able to get there. Yep. Yep. Let's uh, let's do that. I'm gonna have them demo that, and yeah, we'll we we'll, we'll run another road in. going underground over the warehouse? What? I don't know. I don't understand. Is there a service vehicle only sign? Yeah, I think so. The other thing that would be a smart thing to do is put another fueling station right here. Put a fueling station online. A big one. So they don't ever use that fueling station for refueling. Only stuff that heads over here is going to use that. The building between the two silos. This? That's the farm. Why would I want to... Why would I do that? I mean, I could. I could if we ever wanted to future-proof it, but that stuff gets expensive, man. How expensive is the tunnel? Very. Here, let me see. What can a prefab bridge do?
December 1972, Apollo 17, last mission. There we go. I mean, Discovery, go at throttle up. I don't think we have enough room for that. I'll try for the prefab bridge. Alright, well, it looks like it's possible, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get away with a 20-footer. I think that one was too high. I don't think it needs to be that high up off. Well, I guess it does. Okay. stepped at the 25. The 25 worth? Oh, yeah. Come on. Hate that. I wonder, I'm wondering if we can fix it. Hey, 
Hey, how about that? Hey, good call, guys. I don't mind that. The prefab bridge, no problem. His drummer? The drummer is actually, yeah, he went inside. The garage was too cold. But yeah, he was for a little while. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Bypass road looks good. Yeah, we'll uh, make it out of prefabs. Prefab bridge is not a big deal. When can I schedule my vacation at the Johnson Homestead? Uh, no vacancy, sorry. It's all booked up. What about me? <clears throat> you might be able to. It's on very short notice, sir. It's a very, very, uh, as you can see, it's a very, uh, desired place to stay. Yeah, Casa del Enrico Jamiroquai. Yes. It's February 30th open. February 30th is open every year. What if I had the piece of the shuttle as an offering? It's already been offered as tributes up. You're okay though. We'll make a reservation for you. going to need better plows. Why don't you let us all camp out and you can play automato automaton for us like it's Woodstock? Have the extra cash to fix the Mustang, I'll remember that. All right. On the flip side, if you ever wanted to visit Road, I'll gladly be your guide. Wolfram, um, I'll be there in like three weeks. So. <laughs> Yeah, let me uh, let me talk to Bree. Uh, shoot me a DM. What? Yeah, yeah. Not for a get up, not for a uh, meet up or anything, dude. It's uh, personal. What's going on? Hey, there he is. Big guy. What's up, dude? I'm not bankrupt. This city seems to actually be going well. Seems to be growing well. Just like that, he appears. What's up, Merkers? How you doing, man? <clears throat> You 
good? Right on, man. I, uh, Pie Guy took, uh, drummer for a blast in the Mustang today. That was fun. Hey, Caleb. How you doing? You don't raid channels, do you? Me? Raid? Yeah, we raid all the time. Perks, I would raid Mick Discovery. almost every Go chance I him. got, dude. But the problem is, is that by the time I'm done streaming, he's asleep. <laughs> you ride while somebody else drives your car. That's always wild. Drummer, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't drive the. Uh, I was doing the driving. He didn't drive. I didn't make a Boston cream for drummer, no. But we've gone to the donut shop to show, show off I got pop. Take him on a good curvy road. No, it was pretty straight. It was a pretty straight road, bye. Yeah. That's the Crosstown bus. He was up late tonight, but yeah. Oh, right on. Leave some rubber behind? No, I had the traction control on. I don't like dropping the clutch with the TCS off with an open differential and live rear axle. That's how you park yourself up a tree. Yeah, we don't need to do that. We wanna, we wanna, we want to peel peel it out where we'll, we'll drive the 59 around. Offer still stands. If you're ever going to be in Houston, I'll take you fishing. All right. All right, Jojo. I'm not that big of a fisherman, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say no. You know? mm. Actually, drummer, we need to take the 59 out. It hasn't been driven in a little while. Good old Frever. Park yourself up a tree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't drop the clutch on a Mustang with a live axle with an open diff. That's really stupid. I've gone fishing before, Simon. Take who out? Freb, the, the, the truck. Is this City Skylines? Caleb, thank you for the 43 months. I do, do appreciate it. This is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It's kind of like city skylines with transport fever and factorio. All kind of squished into one. It's quite good. Bro, I should probably do it soon because of the snow. It's more likely looking like it's going to rain, but yeah. Yeah, all systems, you're definitely getting snow. Oof. Look at Creation. Look at your bus. Your bus is amazing. It's an economic simulator with a city builder strapped to it. Yep. Ding, 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 
they even make buses that hold 95 people? Absolutely. <clears throat> yes, and they suck to ride, Nodders. Take Freb out tomorrow if you can. Okay. Just drive Drummer down the road to my place and I'll show him around here for the day. Uh, Pi, I, I actually told him we were we were driving down I-90 and I'm like, you know we can get to Pi Guy's house on this road. Like, this road will, you don't, like, no exits. Just straight to Pi Guy's house. 30, th or not 35, is it 3200? 3,200 miles, about five kilometers. The reason for the Mars was the speed. <clears throat> How much grain did we get? About 3,200, shall we? About 3,200. Yeah, it's the only one turning away from Boston by that logic. That's right. Where's Battleship Cove? Down the road, north, something suited to the 59? I would not drive the 59 to Fall River, no. No, 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 no. No, no, we, I wouldn't do that. You want to go to Battleship Cove? You can go to Battleship Cove. How's the booze factory doing? Just boozing. Take the 59 to BB59. Oh, Jim, that does make sense, doesn't it? I don't know if it'll make it, dude. Oh, crap. Big dog! Big dog, it's your moment to shine, buddy. 59 isn't that bad. Um, we'd need to take it on a couple of shakedown cruises, dude. It should be fine, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to take it down there. My footpath is on fire. Come on, big dog. Put that fire out. We lost the save. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good.
Oh, they can drive up footpaths. Yes. Well, we're gonna lose that, but whatever. Takes two seconds to fix. Tessa, this game makes no sense. Dude, we put out all the fires. Big dog. It was thanks to the big dog. Large dog. Very nice. Mildly useful now, very good. Yeah, they're walking through a freaking fire bridge, dude. They got an upgrade, they did. Oh, you know what? We also got to get the bridge. The bridge that I want to go over this. Ready to go. How long until they're back to useless? That depends. Why are we losing dollars? Electricity? My electricity comes from NATO. All right, guys. Getting up around 10 o'clock, dude. I'm gonna save and we will continue tomorrow. Okie dokie. Now we're gonna burn trash for power. We could eventually do it. Right now it's building up the labor to get the uh, food factory good to go. But yeah, we did a lot of work today. Dude, today we ended up buying down almost a million dollars in debt. Can you believe that? If we weren't in debt, we would have 700 thou. 
700,000 rubles. Not bad. Not bad. It's only a matter of time. All right, guys. I'm going to pop off. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Um, yeah, we did good here. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop off and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll try something different tomorrow. I don't know. Would you, yeah, good night. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I don't know, Nova. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm just into workers, man. I just like that game a lot. Chat bugging you too much on this game? Not at all, Kling Bang. No, not at all. Big drummer launched the shuttle. He doesn't want to be on camera. So, thanks for the stream and thanks for the YouTube. I can watch during work now since Twitch is blocked. Oh, okay, MC. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I know it's hard to hear all the suggestions. Ah, Clang, dude. When I play KSP, the suggestions are coming hot and heavy. It's okay. It's no problem. Have him wear a green morph suit. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Good night. <clears throat> yeah, Mercs, I'm not going to raid anybody tonight, dude. I'm I'm just, yeah. Keep I'll keep it in I'll keep it in my mind though, okay? I'll uh I'll talk to you guys all a little bit uh Later, like tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Noon time. We'll have some fun. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.